Question: What is your beef? Why do you have such a problem with me? Can we get the real Andy? I would prefer the real Andy. Oh, let's get the real Max. I'll take off my mask when you take off your mask, brother. Because um, you, uh, who's your who's your new favorite YouTuber, Ian, that wanted to to be on the show with us? Uh, the the Madman, <laughs> the Madman, Mad Movie Man. Let's bring on Max Movies because he scares the living shit out of me. Hold on. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, Mad Max says, uh, "I think you should." Uh, I think you should apologize, right? I'm sitting here in a goddamn hey. torn down pool house. I don't even know who you are. It's torn apart, okay? It's torn apart because I'm remodeling on my $70 webcam, okay? I'm no better than you. Uh, movie Madness Entertainment, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to MME Live, MME Late. I hope everyone's having a great night. There's some good news in entertainment. Um, I've had been having a, I've been busy actually CJH, you need to get on here for the topic. If you're available. Uh, yeah. Well, the, he wanted this. He was like, they need to, now that they do an X-Men 97, they need to do Spider-Man. Um, uh, well, someone in the chat already said, I, I put the wrong, <clears throat> I should be called Spider-Man 98, not 94 when it started. I guess you're right. Um, yeah, yeah, you should have figured it's that out. It started 94, yeah. so but okay, I guess I'll change it. But dude, are, are we gonna get a crossover episode where we get Spider Man uh, coming in? I think you're gonna have a whole universe, and honestly, uh, they had it back in the 90s. That dude, I'm talking, yeah, you, yeah, watch uh, re watch that Spider Man show, it, 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 it still holds up, like, well, let, let, wise, let, yeah, it's just fun. It did, it was well, great. let, let. Let's really examine this. It doesn't... Okay. Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, after the success, the rousing success of X-Men 97, Rot Tomatoes are off the charts. It doesn't potentially dilute your brand either by having movies and shows, you know, because there's too much. It's, it's easy to differentiate the animated from the live action, right? But TV probably a isn't. fraction of the cost of some of these, like She Hulk. Wait, wait, can you, can you, can you set this I'm, up? I'm, People, I'm, for those okay. of us who don't know exactly what's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So, um, it's a rumor right now, um, that they are very happy with the success of X Men 97 critically and numbers for Disney Plus. And they, you're right. I, I'm sorry. I'm tired. So I wasn't said, you're, thank you, Voltaire, for, uh, producing. Hi and hello, everyone. Oh man, I forgot that too. Oh, Hi, hello goodness. everyone. MME is a free flowing conversation that oftentimes touches on mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. That is our friendly disclaimer. Um, okay, so here, here's from Cosmic Marvel. Marvel Studios are reportedly tossing around the idea of making more seasons of Spider Man the animated series, which CGH wanted and called. Marvel is also said to be yeah. having talks about exploring the 90s animated universe, which would most likely be explored through X-Men 97. So uh, does that mean there could be another show? At the very least, I would think some really amazing cameos that they already confirmed that they're going to, but that could lead to a spinoff so easy. So easy. Uh, the next episode comes out uh Tomorrow at midnight, I think. I think so. I'm not sure. Oh, like um, the new episode. But there's but only like what let's, four let's episodes really... out right now, right? Two. There's two. 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 Okay. So the third episode. So based on the results of the MCU shows on Disney <laughs> Plus, if you were in charge, Voltaire, and then Brian. What would you do? I I think I would explore a lot more anime, not cancel all the all the uh, live action, but there's no, a lot of success to why, be had why, here. Why why it? would? Well, well, I would be off, investing more in this than more live action shows. Well, honestly. yes, yes, okay, less like, risk. 
Well, well, here's the thing, dude. Everything evolves in entertainment. Yeah. Like tastes change and things, you know. Okay, so one of the things is nostalgia. We always talk about it. Um, the nostalgia is really high for these uh, two shows in particular. I mean, I I have fond memories of watching Spider Man coming home every day. I mean, I would watch Spider Man before I'd watch Star Trek. And That's the merchandising opportunities are a lot higher here than the live action mm -hmm. shows too. Well, not only that, dude. My first action figure was based off the cartoon. Yeah, you know, it was the Wolverine with the with the with the claws that would come out. You know, so it was like, dude, that was that was it. Like that that nineties X Men show got a lot of kids into that stuff. Hundred yeah. percent. Like I would have never have been interested in it had it not been for that cartoon. No, I think that a lot of people before the MCU, this is with the gateway to these characters, the 90s animated shows. Even some people, Batman, but people got started oh, with Batman. But with see, that's back different then, than Steven. Yeah. What I was trying to say earlier, though, is back then they had a, like a, a little mini cinematic universe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the X Men kind of came out before Spider Man, but once Spider Man came out, you would have the X Men coming over. Like there would be crossover episodes, and then they had episodes with like Iron Man stepping in, and then they made an Iron Man show that would you know it wasn't very good, but you know it was there. And then there was after that there was also uh, what other show? There was a ton of shows that spawned off of that. Of just there's off that, there's a Fantastic Four that didn't last long. But, Fantastic yeah. Four didn't last very long. I think there was the um, ill-fated Doctor Strange show. Uh, you know, they did all sorts of stuff. Yeah, they did Secret Wars. Like they're on Disney Plus right now. Go back and watch them. They're fun. I, I had a blast just going back and rewatching the X Men shows. Dude, the X -Men I didn't shows, know they did Secret Wars. Well, that that well the, on the X Men shows they do the Dark Phoenix right, and it's good. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, it, um, the Days of Future Past. <laughs> Yeah, Brian Singer followed closely this animated show for his movie. You know, uh, or he has a template, dead on. Yeah, dead on. Well, well more Bishop, Vol but yeah. Voltaire. Yeah. Uh, what you know? You're in charge at Disney Plus. You you see these bloated butches for She. I like She Hulk, but it was way too expensive. Yeah, and Captain there's mixed America, results. Red you're Soul. not you're not getting the bang for your buck for these productions. What would you do with the success of this and the animated? Voltaire, what, what would you do? And have you even seen X Men '97 yet? I haven't yet seen it, the new ones. But uh, welcome, Gary North, as a new member, my friend from the UK. Gary um, North became a YouTube member. Thank you, Gary. I really appreciate that. Thanks for calling that out. Me and Voltaire's producer tonight. <laughs> well, no, I, I know Gary. So, um, yeah. So, look, they'd be foolish not to pursue this, right? If mm. if if X Men '97 is getting some traction. I've said the DC stuff, even when DC was at its lowest, their animated stuff, some of it was great. So the success, they'd be foolish not to do this with Spider-Man if they have all the rights. So yeah, they should. Mm -hmm. Talati is just popping in. You said you were happy about this this uh, topic. Talati, yes. have you watched X-Men 97? What's your thoughts on them? Of I course. loved the first two episodes. I was blown away by the second <clears throat> one. I don't want to spoil anything because uh, Brian and Voltaire didn't see it yet. But uh, I well, was in a way. I, well, I, I, watched two, I watched the first two episodes. I really enjoyed the first two episodes. It's and... been spoiled on Twitter, by the way. But oh, go ahead. Obviously, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So <laughs> I'm being, uh, thing. All I can say is that if they continue on with this trend, you know, bring in Spider Man ninety seven, oh sorry ninety eight, I, I believe. Um, if they bring in the old nineties Spider Man cartoon. It would be great for us Spider-Man fans to basically be able to explore that and see the continuation of that. Mm -hmm. I didn't because watch a lot of the Spider-Man. I watched a little bit. I got to go back well, and let's, watch it. Let, yeah. Let's just put it like this. like The ending of Spider-Man, the animated series, was left on a cliffhanger. And oh. then they, they they went into this another series called Spider-Man Unlimited, which was kind of canon. But then after about 13 episodes, they stopped it. So it's like, is it canon? Is it not canon? Kind of, we don't know because they got a different voice actor. And right. it was. As it was I recall, the, the 98 Spider-Man did Venom better than anything that Sony's done as of late. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Agreed. Uh-huh. 
Uh, I would argue, right out the gate with honestly, it. that was in the first season, dude. Like, like oh. I would argue that Sony has actually kind of uh, taken a lot from this show for their movies, because uh, Venom attaching to a, an astronaut was from this show. You mean the Tobey yeah. Maguire one? Uh, both. Uh. The Venom movie and Toby, yeah. Right. Well, actually, the I would say the if, no, they, they look, didn't, and that was like the most disappointing part of the third Spider Man. Like, I would say, like, oh, yeah, first... no, they did it in the Venom movie, the Venom, oh, yeah. movie. okay. But, but I think the whole bell tower came from this show. Well, it came from yeah. the cop, but yeah, <clears throat> but the, the way they did, like. The way I see it is if they continue on from this, they could actually expand Spider-Man a little bit more further with the, the 90s cartoon show. If they so, so choose to bring it back because like this cartoon show was one of the greatest um, Spider-Man cartoons to ever be put out there. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, there's spectacular Spider-Man and... Spider-Man, the animated series from the 2000s. I'm just like, no, 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 no. The 90s has always been up there with the, you know, with the greats like the Batman, the animated series, and Superman, the animated series, and so on and so forth. And I, I remember Spider-Man this was better than Batman, personally. <clears throat> I loved it, man. I mean, the universe they created was just so amazing. And I the mean, the, that, the like, way. It, the way I see it is Marvel did it first when it came down to building a world. The, the they, only thing that's different is uh, the Kingpin voice actor passed away in 2007. And he's so they, iconic for this show. Like, his voice is very iconic for it, Kingpin. They would need well, to use like that's going to happen. It, yeah. Wasn't it Ed Asner or something like that? Uh, that was, is Lee was Brown? Well, really? well, CJ. Is no, he Ro- was Ro- Roscoe Jenna Lee Jenna. Brown. We're going to get to Anthony in a okay, second, too. But, gotcha. CJH, you've been championing this, that they should do this. Have you seen X-Men 97 yet? Uh, I've I got to rewatch the rest of the show first. Oh, you're going to... We know I'm what? I'm going to oh, jump oh, ahead. We're going to do a watch party. Why would I jump ahead? I've done it like if three I do times, a watch dude, party you've tomorrow had plenty night of time to do it. A pick up where um, the last season one with Professor I'll rewatch X the first two episodes before the third one drops. Really tomorrow night. Yes. What about that CD? You want to join us? Okay, Ed Asner sure. was J. Jonah Jameson in that one. I got the Disney voice. Plus back. 9 11 Truth or Ed Asner. Well, I can't do anything tomorrow because I go work, but yeah. Forget work. No, that's living the dream. We're, we're, we're gold. We're gold. Gary North was supporting the show. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, oh, dude. Uh, let's see here. Um, I, I think, oh, yeah, Mark Hamill voiced a couple characters in that one. Yeah, Mark Hamill voiced uh, Hobgoblin. He was Hobgoblin, yeah. yeah, yeah. A- Anthony, what do you think? Did you see X-Men 97? What do you, th- what do you think they should do? Should they lean into the animated universe from the mm. 90s more? Is this just the start of a big universe? Um, I enjoyed the first two episodes. I, I love it. would be a good way to introduce the X-Men up. in the live action. Uh, can, can I? Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, I, I, would, I mean, if, if this ever happened, sure. I'll watch another season. I left off on the cliffhanger with um, MJ, with, um, with Peter. We're, we're like, where, where's MJ? We don't know what happened to her. So i'll be up for it yeah if it happens i mean every everything is connected from this universe of, of iron man what is it fantastic four the hulk um yeah, silver surfer and all those stuff is connected i could see these characters show up in x-men 97 as well if it ever happens so yeah well, th- this is a when... good question this is exactly what cjh just said um should you watch 76 episodes of the original series first? I'd say just no, jump in. No. Jump in yeah. while the water's great. Water's, you know, perfect temperature. You're not going to get spoiled. And you can experience it with the rest of the fandom right now. And it's a, it's very, it's similar to the 97 or 97 series, but there's enough to differentiate it that it's 
kind of like a new series. It's, it's just it's, yeah. it, it's pick up where it left off, like yeah. when Professor But even like widescreen yeah. presentation, the animation slightly different. Um, just watch some recap. There's all they're yeah. all over YouTube. I would say this though, I would the say later, probably. later animated shows like Fantastic Four, World's Greatest Superheroes. I actually enjoy that more than the '90s Fantastic Four. Honestly, and, though, how... um, also uh, Spectacular Spider-Man takes a lot from the Raimi yeah. trilogy. But who, there's, who there's a lot of reference to what that. What would you say, Taladia? Would you, if someone like CJH or the Random Chat series, because I'm going to clip this out. Um, what what would you say? Should they go rewatch it, or is it is it fun to just jump in? It's a fresh start, I think. It, it depends. Um, it depends on um, if you're new to the series, then jump right in. But if you're if you want to rewatch it and you know refresh your brain and everything, then I would say like go ahead and rewatch the first seventy six episode because it's actually up there right now in terms of viewing on Disney Plus. I have seen that on Twitter. Apparently people are saying it's it's kind of neck and neck with X-Men ninety seven in terms of numbers. That's something that is revolutionary for your for your brand is when it's something so good it makes you watch the other content around. Is there a DC movie that came out? I'm sorry to pick on I'm a DC fan too. But is there a new DC movie that came out the last year that says, oh I gotta rewatch all the old the DC Batman? No. Well, actually, there is the only the only thing that yeah. that basically people Batman um, animators. If, no, 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 not Batman animators. You can't classify it that because because of Kevin Conroy. Um, the only thing I would say for DC that you have to go rewatch is the Tomorrowverse because that's the newest thing going right now. So you have to but, rewatch but honestly, the old lot of, movies. But, but I don't think the whole DC brand got a bump from any of the offers. No, no, for sure not. No, no, no. I, I look at this as a perfect opportunity yeah. to introduce the X-Men into live action. Because yeah. people are familiar yeah. with this universe. Okay? And that's all they really need to do. Well, we're getting a one-two punch with this and Deadpool Wolverine. But that's what because, I'm saying. Yeah. What if that, that Deadpool Wolverine combo... That's the universe they're I from. Just, I just don't know. It's just if, live action. I instead. don't know if things are going to stick to Deadpool's universe, his movie, or they're going to ran- branch out into the whole MCU. I don't I, know. I don't. I don't know. Don't. The only thing they need to explain is where they, have they been all this time? But they could just say that they've been in the MCU for a while. They just. I just don't. They need don't to know. have an event that like. Like the whole Scarlet Witch thing. No, they'll have to do like a multiverse type thing. Yeah. yeah. Have to be a multiverse. Well, they it have just, to do that, it, it, or it just, they well, can't. No, it just it just they can't sense. just be there. Like the, that be the history of the MCU. No, like it's, it's World War Two. Dude, they're already doing it with the TVA. Okay, and they've already put the TVA in the trailer and all that stuff. It's not an alternate universe. It's an alternate timeline, right? Yeah. So it, so it's the time so it's the MCU timeline, but if the X Men was in the MCU timeline, no, it's like the two timelines are shaking hands and then walking down the road together. Afterwards. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I don't. I don't think it would make sense to recast the X Men because, dude, honestly, how much more movies do you think they're gonna make? It depends on like on how Disney wants to approach this. Going forward, they could, keep, like, they could keep making movies with the people that were playing the, these characters before. You know, it's not. It's yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, I agree. I I think right now, capture that nostalgia, get it while it's hot. Oh, I was showing then, that. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely showing that. A great guy. Now Jesus. everybody's gonna clip that. Well, RJ will back. be here soon. Right, well, cool. I don't know if he's even up. I was like, I forgot to send yeah. it to him. But he's he's. The Marvel maniac, so that's why I was. But no, it. I'm just trying to say, like, dude, yeah. it's a perfect way to do it. Everybody's familiar with the series. All the character actors that played the characters in the Brian Singer movies, all they have to do is, you know, come back, do a little thing, do a thing here or there. Not like they have to do action scenes anymore. You know, like, come you, on, dude. You know what? Why not? I want, I want to see them. Uh, dust off the canceled Daredevil animated series that they were going to do in the 90s. Oh, yeah. 
that's that's not that 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 isn't gonna happen. I mean, yeah, that, 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 we, we, we've yeah. never actually gotten an animated Daredevil mm, show oh, ever. Happy birthday, Cal! Happy Vodka. birthday, Cal! Well, that's a big step. I up mean, he, I mean, he did show up in the Spider-Man TV show. Like, yeah, an but, but we never got like, like a separate. Was yesterday. He was a guest, but he, he was, was a guest, guest appearance. The... Yeah, guest appearance, and them doing a show based on that version of the character would mean a whole lot of different things, like. Like what can you do? And Kingpin, like you said, the voice actor for Kingpin doesn't isn't alive anymore. Yeah, so, well, that's a big. Uh, thing. That's a big. That's a big factor there, right? So the way I see it is that that possibility is not going to happen. I think, right. and I feel like I feel like ev- ev- like Spider Man, Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, those shows can be connected if if they choose to be because I, I really would like to see the continuation of I feel of, I feel like Hulk would probably be the easiest since I don't think there's any iconic voices in that. There is actually oh. um the, there, there is? is yeah. So the person who played Incredible Hulk in the seventies show, um he's the voice actor for the Hulk. Oh uh, didn't he pass away or no, the, no you're no, talking no. about the Hulk or yeah, the Hulk. David Banner. No, Hulk. Hulk himself. Most of the time when they do this, I don't think revival... that's a, fa- a factor at all. CJH when a voice, L- listen, voice can have some well, well, every time they do a revival for a show, yeah, they... yeah, but if they're so iconic, it's difficult yeah, to replace them. Every time them, right? they do, uh, it's, I mean, it's honestly easier than live act. Yeah, it, live every time action. they do a revival for a show, they mostly get the actors back, and they just get a couple of people that's new to um, re- um, redo the voice for the actors that passed away. So the it, it, voice, it's yeah. like if you had Morgan Freeman, like who's gonna replace Morgan Freeman, right? Uh, I get where you're coming from, but you like have to do something that, that drives me nuts, okay? Yeah, like uh, yeah. there's oh, there's a lot of perfect voice actor that does a one to one copy voices. I, I think you're like insulting characters. insulting actors, like dude. It's like dude. Yeah, like, yeah. Other That's people can play parts, man. Like it's their job, man. I, I, just, I mean, we're we're just gonna want to put like yeah, James I mean, Cagney in every role. Like you don't see, you don't see, other you people don't, can okay. play our characters, you don't, you don't but no see one Ray, can you don't see Ray be Parker. as iconic yes. as certain right. actors. The problem but is, the though, way, with the way you guys say it and the way you just said it, it's not like, oh. Well, we should never even touch it because because yeah, that, you know, yeah, that does he did such a great job. Actor, and I, yeah. I understand. Okay, it's, there's, it's, there's it's the a thing, though. Severus there's, Snape dilemma. Okay, like there, everybody loves Alan thing. Rickman. True. Here's the thing, though. If they recast and do that show, people will compare that voice actor to the, the original voice actor. I know that for a fact know, because that's what because I know that for a do. fact because they did the exact same thing for when Roger Craig Smith played Batman in the Batman Arkham games. They did the exact same things. Like, oh, he's not Kevin Conroy. These are shows so, that are like tw- the, 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 over 20 years. Yeah. Almost 30 years. So I don't think I like, expect. I, 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 interesting topic, CJH, but I, do, I just don't think it's a factor at all Like when there's this amount of time. It's very different. Like with uh, even people said uh, they should have recast Chadwick Boseman. There's a lot of people who think that. Now, that, well, that was a recent thing, but this is like. 25 30 years ago, these shows like mostly. They, they, I mean, listen, the get the guy who does Gambit for the X Men animated series, like, I mean, the guy who does Cyclops for the X Men yeah. animated series, he passed away and he sounds like the actor who did the Cyclops for the 90s show. So, you get a good actor that does the same voice and it does very great, you do it. Yeah, I don't have right. no problem. 42, you do good, you do good. <laughs> Guys, make, sure it, you hit that, it, make sure you yeah. hit that like button, guys, and make sure you hit the subscribe button on Max's channel. Yes. And if you're watching this on Twitter, make sure you come over to the YouTube side and uh, hit, come over and subscribe to Max. Oh, wow. Talati's a professional. Thank you, Talati. Come over Thank to you. the dark side. We have cooking. No, I would I would really appreciate you thumbsing up the video. That does really help. Um, we're streaming on X, too. We got 11 viewers on X. You know? If you would be, I know you got, I know you X fans like to watch on the X, but uh, if you would, X like gonna give it to you. Said, uh, hang, head over to our YouTube channel, that would be Good really appreciated. You. And we love different voices here too. So if you watch on X and you maybe want to, you know, interact with us, let us know. 
I don't know how oh, does the X comments come in here. I don't yeah, know exactly. Yes. They do. Uh, yeah. yeah if they you're do watching on X, it. let us know in the comments section. We want to see some. We want to see some new people here. Okay. Um, um, but we're you know there's a lot of good stuff to look forward to. I'm so happy with the series. I almost want to rewatch the first two episodes again, which I might tomorrow night. I'm so but excited. I, I mean, I also get the fact that they don't know how to make anything new either. Like they their their newest uh animated projects aren't the best. Well, versus like stuff that are based on really, pre-established. You can't really you know. compete with nostalgia like that. You know. Can't like you, yeah, I mean they, there's there's good new series but like look at like, all the newer Spider-Man animated. Getting the same animation from thirty years ago, it doesn't work in this time because animation studios move on. Most of studios that work for those animators twenty-five years ago is either doesn't exist no more, and or they just extinct. Like just don't you know? But wait, how, how yeah. do you feel about them continuing the anime uh, style of Marvel? Because they did that with Wolverine. Oh, they used uh, to. Yeah, those. I think they did that the with main show. Those anime movies, yeah, like Blade. Yeah, they did it like with like whatever. Punisher and like Iron Man mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I mean, you want to? I mean, Star Wars does it. They top that anime market with Star Wars version. Yeah. So, I mean, I could see Marvel doing that if they wanted to. Yeah. I would honestly cancel Spider Man Freshman year because we really do need another show about Teenage Spider Man. No, no, shows, no. Uh, I mean, that's not going to get cancelled, Droga. I'm sorry. Yeah, that bro, it's literally coming out this e- next this year. So. That was a disappointment the second they said it wasn't canon. Yeah, I mean, it was a disappointment when they say, you know, it's not going to be canon to the MCU. Um, oh, I was muted for like a minute. You were yeah. muted. <laughs> I was talking. I'm like, why is everyone talking wow. over me? <laughs> I accidentally hit the button on my... Uh, it's a different headset. Yeah. I mean, I'm checking uh, it out. I mean, whatever. whenever they release the trailer for that, I'll, I'll check it out. Uh, I was yeah. like, why is everyone talking over me? Uh, so this is an actually... I wanted to hi- highlight this comment because uh, Axel says Spider-Man freshman year. Do we really need another show about teenage Spider-Man? We, if they do decide to work on Spider-Man cameoing in X-Men 97, what would you do? I think you, you know, you see where it lands first. If it's a hit series, you're not going to cancel it. But it, Honestly, if it's cool. not hidden, uh, you could uh, easily have another option for Spider Man. Yeah, it's you just could there's have a long a history of canceled yeah. Spider Man animated series, is the problem. You could have two okay. options. Go on. Like, yeah. you could have what two I options. feel like the problem with a lot of the Spider Man stuff recently, I mean, Miles works as his own character and all that. Yeah, but I, when you start throwing in 10 to the ten different Spider-Man characters that kind of throws it off a little mm. bit. It's like when they had ten different Hulk Hulks. I was looking forward to Freshman New Year too, um, so I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, if come, people work hard on it, it's coming out. Like, like it works it. as a multiverse concept, but like when you're starting to say that Spider Gwen exists in the same universe as Peter Parker's Spider-Man, that that's why I draw the line. No, they, didn't, they haven't said anything about Spider. I, mean, I think he draws the line, been. ladies and gentlemen. This uh, far and no further. Well, let's also see what people on the on the thread there, what fans are saying about this idea of uh, Spider Man ninety eight. Um, let's see what. Let's see They're what. Probably X- toxic as hell. I no. Say. Bring it on. You know, no, well, there's I mean, good news. People are actually pretty positive on Twitter, too, CGH. I mean, Reddit, too. Reddit is toxic sometimes. Who, Except who, for when it comes many, to Star Wars. Who anything to complain and then they about this? What, are everything. they still talking about Morph? No, no one's talking about Morph. Now that this, you know, everyone knows that the series is good. I don't know what good. you guys are talking about, man. They, they said are, Morph was woke. You, you, you don't have to listen to the shitty here. people on Twitter, dude. Yeah. 
Well, let's see what people are saying. Uh, put the lottie up there. Okay. They're like zombies, okay. though. They just yep. Because where is the real marriage? Everybody. Oh, spoilers for Spider Man. Ninety four, ninety eight. My inners in their nineties kidneys. Well, I, I just remembered about this. So, if they are to bring back this show, can we do the over the top voice acting from Spider Man? Like, yeah. Spider Man chase you to the, the ends of the earth. <laughs> no, oh, they, they, that they, uh, there's not there's anyone being toxic in here at all. Who? Hey, what hey. were you gonna say to Ladi? Let's like go them, them doing over the top voice acting. Oh, is... here's the one, here's the one uh, detractor that says they should re resurrect a different Spider Man series. Uh, uh, they don't, that's up to Tony. It's don't like Spider Man is owned by Sony, bro. They can't hey, do that. I, I, I wanted to hear what to what I was gonna say though. Um, is the second one. Um, oh, you know, Spider it... Spider Man fans are going against Spider Man. You know, this is the best Spider Man. Oh my goodness, this, this is, is exactly like what I mean. Batman. Yeah, because the fact is, they thought Spectacular Spider Man is better in the nineties. No, 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 I disagree with that because the the nineties, the nineties deserves a comeback. It deserves to have its story finished. Spectacular Spider Man mm -hmm. had it had a good run, yeah, but it had an ending. There was an ending there. There was no cliffhanger. Whereas Spider Man ninety had a cliffhanger, and it had very good talented people on the nineties stuff. On the 90s, okay. I see what we're like. Imagine if they just ended Clone Wars and just left it forever. Like, look at there. Yeah. What episode the is this? The way they did. Spider Man. Well, oh, we, we got First the Clone Wars, Wars ending, yeah. which was amazing. Yeah. Was this a Spider Man or was this an X Men series? Spider Man. No, no, it was a Spider Man. Yeah. Was a Spider Man anime. Yeah, it crossed over multiple times. I believe in the They were the season. first MCU. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. They were the first. Marvel was the first. That's I, what I I'm said. going to put this out there. Marvel was the first company to do oh. an animated continuity. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. They did. DC, DC just copied them afterwards. Most, but all we're seeing here is mostly positive. Just Spider-Man fans going against. Well, what about spectacular Spider-Man? Oh, you have to. If you want more spectacular Spider-Man, you have to talk to Sony. You have to talk to Sony. Yeah, you have bro. to talk to Sony about that. You can't. I mean, I would love to. I love Spectacular Spider-Man. Which Spider-Man is this? Well, that's from Spectacular Spider-Man. Into, Spider into, into Spider-Man. Spider yeah. Silver Surfer. Yeah, that's one of the spin-offs for Spectacular. I only lasted one season or two. I can't remember. Spectacular Spider-Man 2. Come Why on. Because the thing is, people think that Spectacular Spider-Man deserves to have more seasons and here's the thing even though spectacular spider-man you know it was voiced acted by josh keaton yes he'd be up it for it but i don't lots think of Raimi, uh references, references yeah. but I, I did not like it's craven it's craven is what turns me away from oh there was a silver show. surfer show Yes. Yeah, yeah wasn't that like lasted, 3D? It was like CGI or something. Yeah, it lasted for like one season, I think. Okay, right. Yeah, it only lasted one season. This doesn't look CGI. It. <sighs> this looks like. No, yeah, no, I mean, like, I don't know if it was the intro picture. or not, but. The like, intro was CG. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any other thoughts here? We want to. We, we've pretty much explored all the. No, that's I, it. I'll say this. Yeah. I'll say this. Um, when it comes down to Marvel animation, they look what they look at what is what made so much money back, and what was the hot topic of, you know, of the '90s or whatever. What, what basically what the fans, you know, think would make sense to connect things right. And I feel as if connecting the doing reestablishing the '90s. Uh, universe so to say um and building on that would work in this day and age with the animation and everything and i'm i'm pretty sure a lot of people would vouch for like let's bring back the fantastic four animated series x uh sorry spider-man iron man uh incredible hulk 
you know, those types Bendis of animations. Four only lasted one season. No, apparently you had, two. Yeah, two seasons. Okay, well, the second season isn't on Disney Plus, so I don't know. What's well, let, going let's on look here. at this. I forgot. I wanted to share this before because I'm I'm very happy when there's a success in the entertainment industry, and I I'm glad. Also, besides the MCU. Um, now, do they use some 3D models in this 2D animation too? So it's Probably. A mix of, it's, it's a, mix yeah, it's a mixture. Too. Probably. But, it makes but, it easier. Yeah, but to see a, a hand-drawn hopeful or 2D show be a success again is something I'm extremely positive around too. Not that I'm against 3D. It's just... it's Well, I mean, right look way. at Spider-Man the Animated Series. There were lots of CGI yeah. buildings in that so, show. That, yeah, when he's going around. Doing, uh, so this every time he would web sling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They animated. But, but they do need to bring back Errol Smith. <laughs> uh, the animated series 97 has become a juggernaut sized hit for Disney. Plus. Deadline is reporting the series, which continues the adventures of the beloved 1990s X Men, the animated series, attracted some 4 million views on the streaming service in the first five days since release on March 20th. And these episodes are only like 30 minutes, right? Yeah. So it's easier to get those views when you have like an hour show when you have a, a show that's like 30 minutes. You know, mm -hmm. they, people could have watched the first one, not watched the second one if they didn't weren't feeling it, you know. Um, according to the trade, what makes it the most watched first season premiere for the animated series since the premiere of Marvel Studios What If in 2021. Also, the trade reports a new series spurred interest in the original one, which is also available on Disney Plus. Deadline says the views for the first five seasons of the X-Men, the animated series, jumped 522% since the trailer for the follow-up debuted on February 15th. I would have a question. That's a lot. Sure. That is really a lot. People um, are going back and watching the, the first five is, seasons. Is the animated series uh, on all of them more closer to the comics than like any of the newer shows? No. From what I gathered. Okay, so like I used to be on streams with William all the time. <laughs> and William used to hate the animated series because um, it, the watered it was, down, it, yeah, it was a watered, yeah. way, way watered down version of what the X Men were. Yeah, but like they mostly copy um, the storylines that was going on it, back then. And, and you know what you have here, that, everyone, yeah. from the these results, these numbers, and and five hundred twenty two percent increase on the original series. You have one of Disney Plus MCU's first evergreen. On the Disney Plus service, Can't there are some other shows like Loki in WandaVision. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you? Why are you yeah, laughing? Dude. I'm not laughing. I mean, I'm laughing, but I'm dude like. It's an no. evergreen product. No, get on it. No. Yes. No, it's fun to go back and relive some of those memories, but dude, I've only rewatched it once. Okay, like. I think this is going to be consistent. On, in the conversation, even after this run, too, it's going to be a I can't believe they canceled Hit product. Monkey. I don't know. Does anyone yeah. disagree with me, Voltaire? What do you What do you think? I think this is an evergreen product. I think it's constantly going to be they're there. Already, they already said that season three is already in the works. So yeah. yeah, I think like Brian said, it's a brilliant way to introduce reintroduce the X Men. Mm -hmm. Is it evergreen? That's interesting. I think it's an evergreen product. Like a lot I of the DC movies were not evergreen. Anymore, dude. There's what? no such thing as evergreen anymore. I think like, so. No, I think entertainment's evolved, dude. There's like no, there's some there there, there, a, no, there's dude. some oh go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, Brian. Go ahead. No, I just I don't know, dude. It's cool. Um you know, do your thing. I just don't I don't I don't it's not something I see myself watching over and over and over and over again. Um you mean like entertainment is done? Like, no, the poop? Yes. Oh, never mind. Uh, carry on. Well, there, there's 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 certain products, certain shows or movies that consistently get re re released, and you know, even like physical media, some a lot have have feel that it's dying, but there's some things that get released consistently have uh, customers buying. I think that's, I feel, it's just subjective, but I feel like this pro project is going to keep keep us in the conversation for quite some time and something that Disney Plus can wear as a badge of honor that they brought back. I mean, yeah. for sure, I mean, they're already working, I believe, yeah, they're working on another revival for a thing with Disney Channel, whatever, 
they doing? We're not going to talk about this every night. Yeah, I mean, I was not going to be in the conversation, dude. We'll move on from this. I'm not moving on. on. Once people catch up on episodes, I want to talk about the episodes. But that's what I'm. I did. What do you want to talk about? It was okay. Two episodes. No, no, no. I you did. It was fantastic. uh, Yeah, but I don't want to spoil for people don't watch it yet. Yeah. I just just. This is getting too Brian. I'm sorry. This is getting too. I just don't. I just don't. I just don't see us talking about this, dude. The next DC topic will come up like next tomorrow, and you'll stop talking about this shit. No, I'm not. Yeah, yes. No, I'm guaranteed. Not. No, guaranteed. I will not. I am okay. so I mean, impressed with this series. Is le- unless the, the quality guaranteed. Tips big Another time. topic will come along in entertainment. We'll be talking about that. No, nah, dude. The season's not over, Cal. That's all I'm saying. It's just a drop the in the puddle. It's not over. Yeah, just a, dro- just a drop in the puddle. No, I'm I'm excited that this is. Gonna make me I mean, literally, I'm excited too, but is. I'm just like, dude, it, we'll, we'll stop talking about it. It's I almost like want to buy Thrones. the action figures, the 97. I mean, I've seen people be picking up the X Men 97 action figures. I'm like, oh, did we talk I about Hot D for two years? Jesus. No, we're not even well, talking about it. It's coming out next that, month. Uh, is that I'm next home. week? Oh, I'm not uh, June, 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 June. Hot D member oh. Sunday two watch months. parties are coming back. You know, you you know, you know. Hey, hey, Rhea. Rhea's here. How's it going, Rhea? Raya, I know you're busy. You know, go follow Raya on Twitter. Nice, positive Twitter feed, X feed. She's busy with some some things, but if you get a chance, they you had should a, really watch X Men ninety seven. That's not you know. what I'm talking about, Cal. They they had a Avengers show too. I'm talking about the fact In that, that we will talk about this for. This will not be the topic of conversation forever. Oh, oh no, 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 it'll probably go back to you, it, you know, after a week or two, topic we'll that we always I mean, about. people would like people who do breakdowns and stuff like that. They would do I, that. I think that word of mouth is still spreading and not everyone's watched it yet. But I think it, once everyone's on board, I think when Voltaire watches at CGH, it's not going to be, be the a next lot Snyder cut, dude. Just give it a rest. It is. Bro. It's almost like it. That occupied yeah. us for but this, two this years. Is a, this is this is <laughs> one that the studio <laughs> idea to bring around. I didn't ever thought they would do a continuation. That who who where did this even come from? Who who suggested this? It was a great idea. I'm all about know. this. Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. I yeah. a lot of, I, I once once people are caught I'm up for hotel rooms. Fuck you guys. I'm having fun. Uh so, oh. Okay, yeah. uh, so we're, I can't wait to do spoiler streams on these. At least, yeah, uh, that's the uh, uh, Yeah, same. Like, I can't wait to do a spoiler. Well, spoiler once they figure out, well, once they Look also figure D- out, can I be in this DC fanboy in the chat? Brian is right. He's just he's not that. Impressive. I am right because, dude, we will be talking about another topic in a week. It's James done, Gunn, probably. Mean, and I'm not even on here every night. I know this for a fact. <laughs> It'll probably be about James Gunn. Yes, we will go back to talking about next topic. Will be James Gunn. Watch. No, I, I. All right. Who did it? Who? I said I'm very happy. Let's go into the next topic. Oh, so I saw, I saw a couple movies, guys. Um, I saw, I finally, I just got done watching the Iron Claw. Oh, I want to. Where did you see that? Which in my living room. room, I mean, did you buy it or was it on a stream? I rented (laughs) it on. I rented it on Amazon Plus. Oh, okay. I, that's how much I wanted to see it. I actually rented it. Okay, mm. uh, it brought me to tears. Um, it was a great movie um, about family, and mm. just go watch it if you haven't. Um, yes, wrestling's involved, but dude, who cares? Uh, my my historical brain was going, "Oh my god, that's so and so." Oh wow, that's great. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. Uh, and then the other movie I watched, uh, the new Roadhouse movie with uh, oh, I Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, I saw it. Good. That was good. That was good. That was good. That's also on Prime. Um, you know, I should watch okay. it with my dad. I, it was okay. Um, I, I like the original better. Patrick Swayze version is far superior. Um, well, uh, yeah, they it, both. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's hundred percent. Um, it was. It, it was just. Yeah, it was a great movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Um, it's on Amazon. Check it out. You yes, could get I, you could get, you could, you could I get do things. I, it's pop culture. Yeah, I'm talking about other stuff. No, I'm just saying that, like, 
I, but, Max is talking about how like the X Men's gonna take over the world of entertainment. Oh no, 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 like stuff that happened in there. Yeah. Whoa, Max, 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 Yeah, I mean, you know what we could, no, you know, Max, no, Max, no, Max, no, you know what for we me. Could I said for me. Oh no, Max, no, I, I didn't think wait, we, House of Dragon wait, was so good. Wait. It got me to watch. It got me. Are we? Are we watch talking watch about Game of Thrones in like two weeks, dude? Are we? Are we talking about random movies we've watched? I mean, the, I watched this uh, the other day, yeah. and I would highly recommend this. I was just trying to. Change I would this highly thing. recommend this. Where is what it? What the is that? Fruit? Fudge is that? You, well, well, you can where rent it on Amazon. I said fudge. Fudge, uh, Anthony. I didn't think you said fudge. Yeah, I based on uh, Brian's recommendation, I watched uh, Ricky Snick Stanicky, and that is oh, a that, fun movie. Okay. On Amazon Prime to watch. That's, so I said Ricky Stanicky was funny. Send me that. Mm-hmm. Send me this in, in Twitter CGH because my wife likes horror movies. I might want to watch that with her. Mm. Yeah. It it's rentable on Amazon. Oh, I have to pay for it. Oh, not included with my Amazon Prime. I mean, if you have one of the channels, that's a hard yeah. No. <laughs> what well, um, found with the music cassettes? Why? Why? What was I, I watch? Um, the Iron Claw that was amazing. The Roadhouse, I think that was good. I I, I mean, um, I'm although not there supporting was sailing the high seas, but you know, and then. <laughs> And then I saw um, Ghostbusters. It was a, oh no, Vince is it, Vince is it on board the Ricky Stenick Really, it was train. funny. I thought it was funny. I, I it, it harkened back to comedies that I haven't but, seen in a very long time. But Max, you know, I was going to say you, you, know, of those if you want to do comedies, if you yeah. want to do if you want to do spoilers for X Men ninety seven, we can do that as a recording. I think that would be better better options. And anyone who doesn't want to participate in that, then you know, in the live stream, okay. that way it makes it easy for well, us. Well, I'm thinking if if I, if I can. I'm just gonna do a watch party because it's only 30 minute episodes, and then do the third yeah. episode tomorrow night. But there is I'll another see. Marvel topic that I do want to talk about. Okay. That is, there's another Marvel game coming. It's gonna be announced next. Oh you my have God. an These, article. It's, it's, it's a bear. It's a, it's, it's a bear. It's like you bring up article. DC fight back. Okay. Anthony uh, Beltry, member can, for 26 can, months. Can, Anthony, can, I can't can, get rid of you. Can, can Marvel you. figure out? I appreciate Which it. company they want to use when it comes to building their gaming universe? Do they they do they don't. There's no and point when you just could sort it out to different companies. And share. All right, here we go. Yeah, but even if they were to do that, can they establish the Oops. like whether or not it's canon? Well, let let Taladia set this up. Go ahead, Taladia. Okay. So let me uh put it like that. No. Uh... Take down your DMs, you know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Scandalous DMs. No. Yeah. Damn. All right, there we go. You had um, the nuclear codes? So it says an evil experiment has caused a unique disruption in the time stream. Who will be pulled in this epic showdown? Get ready for an exciting reveal tomorrow, eight AM Pacific, eleven AM Eastern. Wait, zoom zoom in on that image. I wanna do some deep diving on who's Okay. Why? Well, I, I also um, that can't be Aquaman. That's also. Aquaman. That's Jason Momoa right there. No, it's literally name. That's Iron Man up there. That's um, Iron Man. Yes. Storm. Uh, that looks Black like Black Panther. Black Panther. Uh, um, well, Iron Man with Loki. his iron claws. Yeah. Uh, Iron ton Man. Ton of Marvel characters that they doing. Doctor Strange. From from what oh. I. W- what I think it might be is a, that there is a rumor going around that is there an FPS game similar to Overwatch. Yes. Well, here, I, I retweeted this from Josh, Den of Nerds. Yeah. Good old Josh. Your hero. Uh, I actually kind of, uh, I mean, I went too hard on him. I should have just kept my mouth shut. Hmm. Uh, don't know if I should say this, but technically, okay, well, let me read this first. Net, NetEase and Marvel are developing an Overwatch-esque game. The game is a third-person shooter mm-hmm. and will feature Doctor Strange basically no, their own. No, no, wait, wait, what? Why? No, no. Why? As soon as he said Overwatch-esque game, I, why, I know. No. Why not bring something that's Because then you got the whole it's crazy. battle they passes. They just said Fortnite-like. Oh, yeah, Fortnite, that's the Fortnite. That's, 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 that's what's going to be. Why does every game have to be like that? 
If you don't Fortnite like it, go to Fortnite. retro. You know, there's some retro Bro, games. I mean, awesome. can we see the first trailer tomorrow? And yeah, that's what makes money yeah. these days. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's nothing well, wrong with this. this. Is basically, cool. microtransactions, but without the microtransactions, I mean, well, you can choose not... your wallet. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let me, let, let me finish the. Let me finish what it's saying here, CJ. You, you, you're poo pooing it already, and I didn't even get through the. The game is a third-person shooter yeah, will feature Doctor Strange, is Overwatch, Scarlet Witch, Iron Man, Luna Snow, Punisher. Oh, come on, Punisher, Rocket, Groot, Loki, Spider-Man. What? Hulk, Bad and all Ray, these, the all these characters you had to pay for. No, nope. uh, uh, and then Josh. You know, I don't know what where he's coming out with this. Don't know if I should say this, but I technically didn't sign the NDA. I've seen this game and might even work with the company. It looks amazing. Mind blown. I don't know mm -hmm. what, what I don't sense. know if he's just talking out of his butt. Well, there but has been some screenshots for the game that I have. Oh, there has. Been. Yeah, but yeah. We'll get, you, you'll get a uh, strike it'll get for take, that. Yeah, yeah but strike down. Gonna, it's been posted on social media. You can probably find it on social media yourself. And well, listen, um, you know what is worse than these type of games, CJH? these what? live service games is not what? getting any games at all. And that's what this, yeah. these, these companies yeah, are not going to do. Yeah, but this is not live the... servers, though. Like, this is... Well, I mean, the thing no, is, over, is the Overwatch type of game, I think, would be... It's really kind of like Fortnite, too. Like, I don't know why they said Overwatch. Because you're So it's a 6v6. It's 6 v six. Yeah. It's, it's okay. a 6v6 six six game. So, like, from what I've heard... Why can't we I'm just thinking. get a story-driven open-world game... We all came that can though. Also, you have have with Black Panther, Spider Man, Captain America. Yeah, yeah they're Captain providing America. those are the games that I want, though. Bro, okay, they, well, there's a the game takes about three years to four years. Five Spider Man, years to play. Anthony, so Anthony, his, game, Anthony Punisher game. An here's, here's, here's the thing: you are getting a Black Panther game, a Captain America Black Panther game, 1940. And, and Iron Man, yeah, as well. And so, the, yeah. The, that game is coming out next year. The, yeah, the, the Black Panther game, yeah. Yeah, that's um, coming out next Marvel year, Ultimate and then you got the Alliance Three. Um, you've also got Iron Man game from EA, and you got the Black Panther solo game. Yeah, you've got that as well. So, yeah, so Brian got... Brian mentions a great game. So they, couldn't they just do that? The Marvel Ultimate Alliance type. Yeah, they lost, they lost where money. Where you can like yeah. team up. They, they did lost third one. It's because the second so game well. sucked. The first yeah, one lost amazing. money and lost money. That's the reason why it got a third game for only for the Switch, and that's it. Yeah, it never got yeah. to con. Because, no, like, concert, if you got live service, then you got, like, 15 Spider-Mans roaming be happy, around. Be happy, at 15, least Marvel. 20, 20 Wolverines roaming around, you know. I'm, CJ, I'm excited der about the you're Fallout der You're series. derailing this topic. At yeah. least you're yeah. getting, in Marvel, you're getting single-player story-driven games, and you're getting live service games, whereas DC both. is only getting the live service games. Uh, see, Mr. D uh, Kingdom of DC Nerds, uh, it's the same things DC wants to do. You guys were hating on. I don't hate on these live service games. If there's a way that I could play and I don't have to pay, that's what I do. Like there's characters. Uh, I mean, you don't have to play yeah, play, the, the thing about that game. is that they really make great. it they make it difficult to play. That's okay, no, 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 but it's a challenge to me not to no spend pain. any money. Basically, you guys are saying you're too lazy to grind. Okay, yeah. no, nah, yes, I want to hear it. Yeah, right. You know, do you know what live service game I love? And I grind every day, and I haven't paid Fortnite? since. No, Speedstorm. Speed Disney yeah. Speedstorm. Yes, I compete with the other people that pay to to win, and I do pretty good because I grind every day to level up my characters, and I get Max, I know, earn the stuff. I never Max, pay you, for it. You know, here's the thing: the difference between DC and Marvel is that DC isn't pushing out enough games. Doing they both not, they're spectrum. really not. Yeah. They're not doing both. You see, Marvel is doing well, both. They're, That's they're, the difference. The problem with DC is right now is that you kind of have to be patient, right? Because aren't they in a state of flux? Well, like they're trying to get everything on the same page. I don't. I haven't. Oh yeah, Fortnite yeah. Yet. That's, that's, that's the whole time, point right? of the DCU. Yeah. Yeah, right? but, but the thing, but the thing is, what DC is doing or WB Games is doing, they're full fledging live service games going forward, and they said that. Story driven games are volatile or some something like that. They're I'm only just doing, like they're just so what, doing what happened to the Wonder Woman game that they what's had? coming out in the next that, few that, years, that, whatever that's that's the, the, the Wonder, yeah. Wonder Woman's going to be a live service game now. 
I reckon that Wonder Woman game is going to have live service elements into the game. It's because they can pull the plug on it easier. I imagine. Yeah. True. Yeah. That that is true with Brian. They could pull the plug. When they have a story well, that, game that, and it doesn't hit, it's like oh that's shit. The, that, uh, that's the other screwed. thing I don't like about it because look at what happened to the Avengers game. They delisted it after it failed. After like, yeah. After about two years. That game, yeah. well, I think that game was good. They had it needed some yeah. more to stop it was in okay. it. I mean, yeah. it's just the developers were very lazy. That's the thing. The developers. Oh yeah, were... the, like Spider Man was awful, and that like Guardians and of the Hulk was, was awful. Yeah, I. It, they yeah, were, they were, it's crazy because they were playing Guardians on other stuff like She Hulk. Um, and it's like it's the same thing. Whatever, like, you know, like, Miss Marvel. No, not Miss Marvel. Was that all the characters that Marvel was gonna do for that Avengers game? See, the only way, like I see it, is like if you're gonna make make, make a live service game, don't make a full fledged live service game because True. those types of, if you do a full fledged live service game, it sometimes never works out. That's the hence the idea with like Suicide Squad, Killer Justice League, they had to crawl, scratch and crawl to get there, get to where they are right now because they've got the Joker DLC coming out and literally they had to patch that game before the. Before the DLC drops and people yeah. come back to play the game. Well, the I don't thing is, don't give them all guns like you did Suicide yeah. Squad. Yeah, don't oh, give yeah, them all yeah, guns. yeah, yeah. The suicide, the, the, the suicide Squad game could have been great if it didn't have the live service element. It didn't have if it didn't have if it didn't have a shooter based aspect for that game. I think it would have yeah. been. Uh, it yeah, would have done really well for yeah, Suicide Squad. It would have done well for WB games, but it's unfortunate. I mean, and. That, what Marvel is doing is good. You you license out yeah. these games to other companies so I, they can make whatever they want. And they're doing a mixture of both. They're doing a mixture of both. Like, don't get me wrong. At least they're doing, like, they're doing the story-driven games from mm-hmm. different studios. And you also got the live service games from other yep. studios. You see, this is what DC needs to do. And I've been saying this for years. It's like DC needs to start looking at Marvel huh? and comparing them both and saying, look, hey, that... um. You know, Warner, like Marvel, should be saying to sorry, Warner Brothers should be saying to saying to the consumers is like, look, we can make the story driven games you guys want, and we'll give you guys the IPs you guys you guys want to see. So like the Supermans, the Flash, the Justice Leagues, the the uh, Green Lantern Corp, and so on and so forth, and it can sell well. And that's the difference that Warner Brothers aren't doing that because they they don't seem to. Um, you know, um, we're gonna you know, move you... on to another but, um, topic. Real quick, well, but... when it comes to live servers, um, I think horror needs to be. Are you uh, gonna mention the there needs thing? to be more horror stuff like there, Friday there is... 13th? There, Unfortunately, there is... Friday is leaving, like, they're no longer. I it's mean, yeah, I don't you know how a Hulk game would do. That's just but like, like what, what, what's that one? Yeah. Or, so oh, I'll, uh, I'll answer for your random chat series. How's no, this? Like, well, I've seen people get enjoyment out of it, but you're going to be able to get it at a cheaper price. It just yeah, you have to get it at the sale. sweet spot where you get it where it's reduced price, but not where they're going to take it off the servers. <laughs> Yeah, you have to wait until the sale comes. So that's the problem with the live service games. Get them while they're you know reduced price, but not so far as to where you get it and they're like, oh, servers are down. I guarantee yeah. you they're gonna remove the Suicide Squad probably like the next year or two. I guarantee you. I'd say another year, yeah. Uh, another Maybe year another too, year. You could wait, yeah. you could wait a couple year. months. No. I mean, look at Halo. Really, if they, Halo they really took out the Avengers, the, mo- the Avengers game last year. Okay. So I'm yeah. sorry to switch gears, but next topic because it is it is later. Um, hold on. Why is this? God damn. Rational. Okay. Um, cover this and then we'll do good news of Twitter and mailbag. Uh, because you, I, it's, it is a later no night. Mailbag. I didn't get any nap. You, you, there I was... is no mailbag today. You didn't post anything. Well, I, I there's still some left over. You, okay. you so sure? this is from, let me set this up. This is King Kong or Godzilla of X Kong, the new empire early reactions. Eat up the monster movie mayhem. You seen, I don't... Too... you seen this this weekend? Uh if I can, I'd like to see it. I still didn't get to see um Go do there's do a super again. Chat oh, yes. Uh let me thank you. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, let me get the super chat. 
Rational Skeptic, $5. Phil Spencer now Steam may come to Xbox. If that happens, that means I could play my Steam games such as God of War and Spider-Man on Xbox. Uh, Sony's going to block that somehow. Yeah, Sony will block that. Even though they're on Steam, and I've heard this rumor too. Cool. That Spider Steam, is like their golden yeah, that Steam, uh, it's, goose. I've heard that Steam's going to allow... I heard Epic Games. Epic Games makes more sense than steam yeah um, well w what it probably is is hell divers hell divers 2 is probably going to be shared because there's a big demand for hell i, divers I right would now. be shocked if god of war and spider-man got on xbox i don't see that ha i know god of war maybe spider-man no Dino. that's great bruce <laughs> People who judge games that haven't played are my favorite type of idiot to make fun of. Yeah, Sony Thank will you. hold on to Spider-Man as long as they can. All right, uh, God War, they might share. Who's here looking forward to this movie? Godzilla XCOM, The New Empire. Anyone? I have a hard time getting into the riding his back. monster verse. He's riding Godzilla. Yeah. It's oh, it's what about this um, scene, Voltaire? Look at this. They're, they're side by side. He's not running. What the running hell either. is that? He's got the a running. Oh, what? Jesus. The thing on they... Kong's arm, or what is that? See, find your comfort. I don't know for that. me, for me, King Kong died on the Empire State Building. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bro, they're gonna, oh my gosh! Gosh. We gotta continue they're, the they're story. Gonna, <laughs> they're gonna run out of locale on this. He died on the CN Tower for for CJ. All right, well, let, let's get to I'm some waiting, reactions. I'm waiting for him to do the, t the tussle in space. Uh, when when does Kong fight Godzilla in space? Yay. You know, on the moon? Go, go, like, once yes. you get to so many sequels, yes. you have to go fast. And Xenomorph. They go to yes. the dark side of the moon, and that's where, like, freaking... Another it's freaking, a like, spawn of... Well, Creatures, yeah. Here's according yeah, to Joe Ultra Blow. Zillow. Godzilla X Kong: Gone. The New Empire Mad had a blast. Godzilla X Kong is a whole lot of Titan fun, with emphasis on the monsters. Wingard explores Kong and company, rightly giving them the spotlight. The new creatures add so much to this ever-expanding world. Oh, I don't, what? I didn't want to do that. No freaking way, dude. I'm there, man. Let's go. Okay. Can we, all, can we take a bus and go there together? Wait, how much more can you add to the? universe for sure. see see i i love that there's other universes for other people to love but there's so many of them i cannot keep track um it says godzilla x kong is a really great comp king kong movie so they focus a lot more on kong in this one the human stuff is notably noticeably clunky or notably clunky poor rebecca hall saddled with so much dry exposition but kong has so many scenes centered on him and i just love the big guy and the final Fight sequence are pure monster mayhem delight. That's a good review. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I mean, not as much as I would for Godzilla minus one, but um, I'm really looking. For, there's only two reactions. Yeah, that's that's it. What, I mean, that's what these movies are. Fun movie. You could go to the theaters and have fun. That's what Listen, they are. As yeah. long as King Kong's final scene in these monster movies is on the Empire State Building, I do not care. What if so it's you on never, CNN? you never get in those Peter Jackson vibe movies ever again. No, never. it's the Empire State Building. He Let's look at projections. Fights to, he fights airplanes and you know, he falls down. You know, that's how the story goes. He goes to Canada and fights hang gliders on the CN Tower. No, he he would fight abominable snowmen up here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wow. Uh, this is what I I wasn't expecting this. This is going to be, it looks like. Um, so, yeah, random chat series. Adam Wingard says he wants to do a third one, but depending on the box office, I just want a solo Godzilla movie fighting Megalagon or Gigan. Why does Kong, Kong need to be back in? I'm an old school Toho fan. Well, because this is the American version. The of America Godzilla, version, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you know, they have that. King they Kong do different connection. stuff. The I would the love power. to see uh, Toho do Godzilla versus Kong. That's what I would like to see. You know, even like even if they did somehow manage to continue the Godzilla minus one um, version of Godzilla and make it more dramatic against King Kong. 
that would be very interesting to me. But uh, this is just to show you the tracking is looking pretty good for this. Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire's tracking for 130 mi- 135 million opening at the global box office. Not surprised. Not really surprised. Not right. Like, the deadline. People want to see fun stuff. Go ahead. But yeah, that's that's good for the for the, I get, the movie. After the show, I gotta show you a video. It's but, hilarious. Like, it's, it's a Canadian thing, but. It's but later. I mean, yeah, like I, I think it's gonna be huge. I think this could probably make five hundred million, which is not uh, bad. Which is not bad for the Godzilla uni- Godzilla Kong universe. I'm, who here is happy that they're saying it focuses more on Kong in this one? I I'm kind of happy for right? the fans. I I, just, I I I just can't get into it. Well, get into it, CJH. Sorry. Come on. It's hot oh, I, I prefer I prefer other franchises. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I mean, hey, I'll probably see this upcoming up weekend. All right, let's try something different before we go to good news for there's one more story that that's been long, long in development. Um which sure. I think I th- I think this is a really good project for let me give you a hint, uh Liam Neeson. Good old Liam. Oh, oh, wait, but who would replace him as the the character that he's saying that he's too old for? No, that's that's talking. I didn't Flygon. spoil the topic. I didn't spoil the topic. Okay. Well, this is who here likes Naked Gun? That's a VHS I need to get. Oh, that oh, Naked Gun holds up. Holds up. I, 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 I mean, hundred percent holds up. No, I I thought. Uh, the I could see it, topic honestly. was going to be that uh, Liam Neeson said that he was too old to play Quagon. Well, he did. He did say that, but he didn't say he's too old to play. No. What do you think, Brian? Of this? Do they, do they have to. They, if they. What if they try to make it too realistic or something? That's stupid. They wouldn't do that, would they? Brian, are you there? Did we lose Brian? I think you. I think he wants to do more. I'm having a real weird connection issues. Oh, okay. There's a connection issue. What you was going to, before you cut out, Brian? Yeah. You were going to say something about this. What were you going to say, Brian? I, I don't know. I'm going to come out and come back in. I'm having a weird ass connection issue. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah I yeah. have something to say about this. So this is all based on. There's a show on HBO called Life's Too Short with the uh, little person who played uh, Willow. And Liam Neeson did an episode. Go ahead and look up Liam Neeson, Life's Too Short. That sequence he did is pure hilarity. And that's why that's why he's able to pull this off. And he will be able to. Well, also look at his have, team um, and Ted. Yeah. yeah, also you have McFarlane writing, which he did Ted. What's Police and it's Squad? Hilarious. Was there a movie before? Was the Naked original Gun- uh, Naked Gun TV show? I didn't know show. about that. Yeah. So there's rumors about him having issues with incontinence. I don't know if that's true or not. But he uh, urinates himself, you know. But hopefully he'll be okay for this. But yeah, if he's Liam older Neeson? and uh, yeah. he wants to do more comedic roles, and let him. I didn't know that about Liam Neeson. Any, yeah. anyways, um, has anybody seen Ted Two? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Yeah. So there's that part where Liam Neeson comes in and buys groceries. Yeah, that was yeah, funny. He plays though. Zero, okay, yeah. where he plays like straight edge. I'm picturing that. Okay, if I can get like a Lieutenant Frank Drebin like that. Okay, give, give me a naked gun. It's a kid zero. <laughs> give, give me a give me a naked. Give me a, give me that. Okay, if like if I can get like that Seth MacFarlane type of humor. Yeah, you can. Like, you know. Well, that's who is writing it, me, isn't I'd it? I'd be I'd be all right with it, honestly. I think. Well, let's be see. I don't. Well, this I don't is right. Like Norwick Davis. Go look up Liam Neeson. Life's too short on YouTube, and you'll see he can do this. Well, while speaking with THR, Liam Neeson was asked why he wanted to tackle a flat-out comedy such as The Naked Gun. His quote: "It's funny because right before Christmas, my sons and I were looking through the Academy screeners and trying to find something silly." Some silly, stupid movie that we could giggle at, Eason explained. There was none. 
of course, as they were all very heavy and inter international, I mean, brilliant movies, but all very heavy. Beth McFarlane approached me about it. This was about two years ago now. I thought, yeah, I guess I could do that as long as I play it dead seriously and try not and imitate Mr. Leslie Nielsen. Oh, that's exactly what I was afraid of. <laughs> but he's going to, you know, that's what he originally was thought. Maybe he changed his mind. He was wonderful. Akiva Schaefer is directing it, and he's from the Saturday Night Live world. I'm looking forward to it. It's a good script, and there's a few laugh out loud loud moments in it that's what i'm saying like he he, he could play it straight like yeah that's kind of how leslie yeah. ne mm -hmm. that's how leslie nielsen played it okay like yeah that that was like the, the funny part about it like he was like he the, plays the, it the, seriously yeah he plays but, it seriously yeah. even though shtick happens to him you know what i mean like, okay it, it's a, it, it that was how that that movie worked. It was kind of weird. Like, 100%. You know, I mean, I I like Liam. It was like, kind of like Hot Shots. I mean, like it is you know, yeah. th th that kind of like just not aware it's like a dry of dry humor. Kind of humor. Well, no, no, yeah. it, it's more of like slapstick almost. But like whoever is doing it, it's not aware. You know, it's like the 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 general character on uh, Hot Shots. You know. Um, and if like, Bridges, Seth is you know? in it, then he can bounce off that too. Yeah, whoever the cast. Yeah, they're bring OJ Simpson back. I understand. Uh, no, hell no. Oh. OJ Simpson is in negotiations to come back for this no. film. Who would say that? No. That's a he danger. Is... He will <laughs> never, I'm, I'm he will excited never about come this. back. In people, Hollywood. people might go missing. I don't know. I want to, I want to go watch. Uh, I mean, we saw it. He's the one who did it. So I want to go watch the Naked Gun movies. Again. I mean, I we saw. I mean, he wrote the letter. I'm, 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 he wrote a book saying, "I did it." That is crazy. <laughs> oh, though, right? no, he's like, if I did it, here's how I would do it. And he's also like, looking who? for the killer, CJH. Give him credit. He's still looking. They look in my eyes when you was the. <laughs> yeah, sure, but... I don't think he looked there. He was covering up for his son. Like, yeah, it was so an innocent cow. Stop it. Like, bro. That, that that's like if they allowed Ted Bundy to I'm watching I'm watching <laughs> um I'm I'm watching America right. Crime Story. I look like the season one. And bro, like it's like come on, bro. You did it. Okay. Stop it. We don't he was done. All right, well, good news. Like it's hilarious. Tom Cruise is back. Oh well, yeah, it's a running from... scene. Yes, another running he has scene. To. Uh, this is on. Uh, actually, I should have brought up the X. It's a meme break. at this point. He has to run. The man can run. You can. Hey, he's a runner. He's a runner. He's a track star. Yeah. So, so let's he, look at. You know, you know, maybe he should do a comedy movie where he's look, a runner. I mean, he's there's doing never one. been he's with him some, running with blood on his shirt. Tropical Thunder. Oh, that looks scary. Yeah, but that should be like the meme where he's like Jeez. running. He's look in how, a marathon or something. He runs. He puts his knees up high. He runs pretty. You know. Let I me mean, look at the video. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. We have video. We have video. In the UK. My, that's my. That's my capital. Where? Where is it? Boy, that's you big. Got, you gotta go is. back. Go it's back. Go back. Oh, here's, he's running. Oh, here he is. Here we go. Pop, here we huh? go. Is the car going to go reverse? Boom. Oh, no. Man, he's fast. He's running to Tesco, he is. Yeah. I hope he never falls. He, he could play the Flash. No, he's in good shape. Yeah, he's in really good shape. You, you know, what, what happens when he gets really old and it, he's like an, an old folk? Uh, we should all like, hope I he still want to do stunts. Why, why are you yeah. going to act like this man wants to do his own stunts? He doesn't have to. He doesn't what? have to, but, he really but when he's to, like yeah. 80 years old, he shouldn't be doing. He deserves this all of our respect. We should do yeah, it. He deserve it. Maybe he wants to. You know, he's a true alpha male. That that Tom Cruise. Yeah, I I have real respect. I wouldn't do that. I, th mm. I I made a joke where uh, they just clone Tom Hanks. Well, also, uh, Vanessa, Van Vanessa Kirby. He does run that. way better than Ezra. You're right, figure. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise looks like a bloody full running. He, or he just respawns. <laughs> he yeah. respawns from the nearest hospital. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. That's not, yeah, that's... I mean, Van also, um, Vanessa Kirby was on set. So I saw that today. So. 
Yeah, I'm really excited for Mission Impossible. Of Ezra Miller. So I finished I mean, watching. You he, he here? If we were making the amount of money that he makes, would you be doing your own stunts? Wait, Brian. Brian was trying to say something. Yeah. Um, I watched the Secrets of uh, Dumbledore. Um, I was watching a bunch of movies, guys. I don't know what y'all been doing. I wish they would continue those. Uh, but, um, what, uh, but, but, uh, what this? Mads oh, Mads do you think he, do you think he, yeah, well, yeah, I was going to ask that. Uh, do you think he's better than Johnny Depp? Uh, yeah, they should have never cast Johnny yeah. Depp as Grindelwald. I'm sorry. No, no, it's nothing that, well, yeah, but yes, it is. Yeah, like, he's, mu he's much, he's much better. Like, but, I like, don't hate dude, those movies. Matt, Mads Mikkelsen did a fantastic job. Um, was there Colin Farrell too? Uh, Colin Farrell was good, but like, you know, when he switched over, yeah, but he was, was a different character. He was like his he was disguise or whatever, you know. But he wasn't wearing a fat suit in this one. Yeah, but no, I he really, was. He was really disguise. enjoyed it. Uh, but Ezra Miller, yeah, he ran really horrible in that movie. Um, <laughs> just saying, I'm uh, Ezra Miller here. I'm running. <laughs> I didn't understand the whole Ezra character at the end of the last one, though. Like, I it. It, is, it, is, it is what it is. Yeah. No. And then I watched the other ones, and I was like, "Dang, this is kind of sad." And then I watched, I watched the uh, Twenty Years Hogwarts. Whatever uh, happened to that special? actor, though? The guy that plays the main character, he kind of disappeared. Uh, hey, uh, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie uh, Newt, Newt, the guy that Eddie, plays Newt. Yeah, Eddie. What is the name? Eddie Redmayne or something like that. Yeah. Whatever happened? He's kind of went off a cliff. He's fine. He's fine. Yeah, he does a lot of English good. stuff. I'm sure. I thought it are. sucked with the Cat Catherine Watterson character. Uh, like when she just kind of shows up at the end. Um, I thought that was kind of stupid. Uh, and I would have liked to have seen mm -hmm. a Wizarding War. But, I, I, I get that a lot of the actors have passed away in the Harry Potter universe, but the prequels were definitely a way to get aware around that, I think. Well, well it just so, depends on what story they want to tell. Dude, they could do a whole thing in like America, you know? Like I think that'd be yeah. awesome. You know, or even know. like other places like Australia yeah. or it's like a fun yeah. conversation. I do need to segue because you know what time it is. Oh, bad news over happy music. Pizza time. Good news, Twitter. All right, let me get high first. Segment. I'll be back. Look at this. We have first for good news of Twitter. We have Godzilla and Kong on the on the on the carpet premiere. The great carpet. Some jackass a lizard. Oh yeah, someone's got triple oh, those. Never mind. Those are toys. The Toho <laughs> toys look much better for Godzilla. Toho, on yeah. zero, you know. I would have step on it actually. Uh, here's some good news. Pierce Brosnan, one of my favorite James Bond, my James Bond actually. That's when I started yeah, really liking him. He's all right. He's the best. Ah! James Bond. Uh, I da Pierce Daniel Brosnan. Craig. Get, Daniel Craig is second. Old Nye was amazing. If Daniel you put Old Nye versus Casino Royal, it's no question. Uh, yeah. Casino yeah. Royal is running, buddy. Oh, you what? Casino Royale is way better than Gold when I get out of here. Yeah, you know, if good. if Aaron's actually cast as James Bond, I might actually start watching James Bond movies. Watching, watching Gold Eye is the first time that says, you yeah, watching even a go... villain do their thing, and first you, time you, I said, I want to get killed you by had that the villain. You had the chance to buy Gold Eye. Which one I'm talking about, Voltaire? Yeah. What? Some of them I just didn't. I, I thought. If, if you I like, don't like James Bond as a character. I like movie. I, mean, I like spy thriller movies, but I don't like James Bond. Well, if that makes sense. It doesn't well, make sense. With James Bond. It doesn't guys, make sense. And I hate and I hate to break this to everybody around the room. I mean, contrary to certain uh, geopolitical events, the Cold War is over. What? And James Bond really doesn't have a place anymore. And I know they tried to address that in the movie Goldeneye. Um, mm -hmm. And it worked for a little bit. But the problem was, is like, you know, global threats evolve and the movie didn't evolve with them. We got China. We got Russia. Still. We also yeah, like... but dude, if you want to make money off of China, you're not going to portray China as the bad guys. Fair. Fair. Well, 
what do you mean? think? What, what do you think of so, Kingsman? We're kind of we're kind of stuck with like bringing up uh, Spectre is what they did. They did the whole you know secret global organization thing, and you know it worked to a point, but. You know, Matt, if, if if Gordon and I is your favorite, what if they do World War Two? You know? Yeah, I wouldn't mind a, I wouldn't mind a, a a period piece with James Bond. Oh, I would love that. Uh, no, I mean that's what no, Nolan no. wants to I do. Feel, dude, bro, that's what a, Nolan a wants piece, to do. A period James Bond movie would be so fucking cringe now. I actually, I I want a lot of franchises to do period pieces, including that's what MCU. Christopher Nolan. That's what Christopher Nolan wants to do with because James Bond. Current stuff with cell phone, t- it's harder. It, there, you could still yeah, tell a story. Dude, and everything can't but you? It's just... Can't you hear the chorus of boos already? Like the boo birds would come out mm-hmm. in full effect when that movie came out. I mean, yeah. what, like, maybe you start like, mixing when, when, the, when it, the classic when it announced, gadgets. Man. Now you just have a phone that does everything. Oh, there's well, an app for that. I, I'm gonna have yeah, a crazy dude. take. <laughs> there's an app for that. Wait, yeah. I, I'm gonna have a crazy take. Wait, if you start mixing the. Uh, different franchises. So, well, like, you could Dracula like, someone, versus someone got video James Bond. YouTube video of James Bond, and but it, you wouldn't have to deal with that if you did a time pe- uh, period piece. You know, oh, someone yeah. got him on their iPhone. The, the, the yeah, thing but the is... problem with the, the like period pieces, though, it's like, and it happens every time a period piece gets brought up. It's like. They miscast folks, and people are gonna be like, "Oh my god, that's not exactly how it was back in the day." Well, oh, that's true. They do say that. Rah, 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 rah. That's why I'm like, well, dude, no, I can already on anyway. But no, I'm just saying, I can already hear the boo birds already fucking naysaying. Was, yeah, wasn't there just announce that... the movie and and people will be like, "Oh my god, yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be woke." Well, well, wasn't here, the, wasn't the rumor the... that? Um, I, 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 I like how no one and, um... on the. Pe- no one on the panel heard what I said except for the Yeah, chat. yeah, you want you want Dracula versus James Bond. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I no. thought that was hilarious. No, James Bond well, versus Frankenstein. Well, here, here. Yeah, there was rumors that um no, Nolan wants to do a a, a period piece James Bond. Oh, Dracula here. versus James Bond, Nolan wants yeah. to do that. No, here's no, no, what, no, not that. Uh, I'm talking about Brosnan period piece. On a- Aaron Taylor Johnson potentially playing James Bond. I'm I definitely tip my hat to the fellow. I think the man has the chops, talent, and charisma to play Bond. Very much so. He 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 cuts his hair. I'll, I'll, I'll say this: can he, can he come back for Kick Ass Three before he does James Bond? No, it's a reboot. No. Do you even want to? I don't it's know. A reboot, I mean... bro. It's not happening. Yeah, but just one last time. It's, it's you know, a reboot. As Kick Ass before it's, he's it's a reboot. stuck in the it's contract. A to play James Bond for it's a, reboot. a it's good a amount reboot. of years. It's done. It's done. Yeah, it's done. I mean, I would be fine with that if he, if if the studio wanted to pay for it. I'd like to see it. But honestly, I think they should oh, just Dracula start versus with... Bond. No, uh, no, we we're talking about Kick Ass okay. instead of a reboot. But I kind of would prefer a reboot at this point. This is so much time, no, James, and he's James, more like an action star now. The part of the part of the premise of kick ass is that it's a a kid that's not like really physically fit trying yeah, to be but, a they could, like, time but he is like look at him in craven it's not him it's not him anymore he i mean he used but, to but he does role, but... at the end of the kick ass too he does get buff so. yeah but not like in craven that's like a whole new thing yeah what look about how... jim carrey you can't have him in it anymore Look, look how, look I mean, how, it, spoilers Matthew for the Vaughan already comics, played as a reboot. but his character, happening. you know, is no more in the comics. Matt, Matthew Vaughn says a reboot. It's not happening. Just uh. let me let me bring up a. Uh... Yeah, but a reboot can also mean many things, right? It's not like a remake or anything. Reboot is like what they did with Jurassic World versus. I mean, he says he's Jurassic not bringing Park. back. He's, it's he's, still he's part not... of the. He, he says he's not bringing back anybody from the old cast. That's what he says. Uh, he owns the IP, so. I mean, look, look. Uh, let it would me bring be dope. This, let me, let yeah. me bring this up, CGH, to prove the point here. This isn't the same Aaron Taylor Johnson anymore. Look at look at this. Are you bringing that's up not, Kick-Ass that's 2? Not, no, Kick-Ass? that's not the character with the length. That's a lot of abs for James yeah. Bond. Well, for James Bond too, you think? Max, take oh. off your email. Well, that's a. I mean, that's okay. The people can email me there. 
What, I'm gonna yeah. Email grab. Max, everybody. Send him your cow. Some that's where you send your dick pic, your Polaroid. No, don't. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cal's birthday. That's what he wants to do on his birthday. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think this is. I don't think this is kick ass anymore. Can you say happy birthday to Cal, everybody? It's his birthday, everybody. Happy birthday, no, Cal. Happy birthday. Uh, let me bring this back up here. Yeah, so know. so in Kick Ass too, he was getting a little bit buff as well. So, yeah. so I guess that could work. Well, you have to cut his hair too. He looks too slick there with his chest hair and everything. The next, according to this, according to comicbook.com, is the source. The next Pirates of the Caribbean movie will officially be a reboot. I mean, I think there's the, another the, situation where it's just a click restart. The, click like, the, um, it, it's a continue. Click it. I think it's a continuation I got the gist of it. This is, but it doesn't have the same characters. He said say more stuff though. Like Jerry say more stuff. I Jerry Bruckheimer. Okay. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. they keep going back and forth. They go back and forth, reboot or or hand off, and then have uh, Johnny yeah, Depp like, and cameo also, like, also, or hand like off. This, you know, like there's two pirates movie they do it. Like, is the Do, next one the reboot with Margot Robbie, or is the next one a sequel? To I, I honestly yeah. doubt Margot Robbie's still going to do it. She's got other opportunities now. Listen, money's money at the end of the day. I don't, I don't think she'd do it. Unless well, they reboot it with her as a star, she's not going to do it. Have you talked about um, Scarlett Johansson and Jurassic Park? I did well, on the other stream. Maybe his Twitter feed. Here's a, this is whatever's in my Twitter feed because we're we only have we're, I'm not going past two hours for sure. I got to get some rest tonight. I didn't take no nap or nothing. Sure. Goldie Hawn, Kurt Russell, one of the most lasting relationships in Hollywood, and they I don't think they ever got married. That's crazy. But well, they yeah. still love each other. You know, yeah, well, I, I, I was kind of share something about that Jurassic Park thing. So it is clearly destiny. Uh, with uh, this um, Sharon right now. Sometimes you have to find the find the the right woman. So yeah. So. Oh, that's like a Hobbit hovel, dude. That's sweet. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking yeah. at hotels. So she's she's met all the actors from the Jurassic Park as she was growing up. So. I think it's a good. I think it's a. Like, I think Scarlett Johansson. Uh. Get some box office pool. I think if you're going to go towards a female focused, uh, I don't think it's going to be female focused. I think I think it's going to be. Do be a good star. I think it's going to be two males and one extra female. So, so yeah. Well, the rumor is that it's uh, it's it's supposed to be like uh, a in between movie. Uh, Overboard. (laughs) Yeah, Overboard. I I love that movie. (laughs) It's a good movie. Didn't they remake that movie too? Like when to see Goldie Hawn in a song? Yeah, I I saw that as a young young boy. Uh, sure. I was like, "Whoa, Goldie like Hawn! Who's things this?" To me. Um. <laughs> uh, here's a here's a a video game that I thought looked cool. I don't know. It's only twenty seconds. <laughs> like cool. <laughs> when you. <laughs> Why are you so negative about everything? You don't have to play it. I, I think it looks cool. Get is the, is the why people today. like these type of games? Because oh wow, he says he says he doesn't understand you, Max. These people. I mean, these, these, these people. people kind of, that's, that's What's not cool about robots <laughs> fighting each other? Why you got to be such an ist Canadian? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you have to maybe it's. it's You're I, such a I, I just like the new gen. Games. What do you got against beat 'em up type games, huh? Well, this is an indie developer. Indie indie games roll right now. Um, Corey Hawkins is rumored Bradley. to have a joint. I want my games team. like this Red has been, This has been yeah. debunked already. This has yeah. been debunked by James Gunn. Already. I've never hey, heard of this. I've never heard of this website. What's up, Riley? No, it, 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 handle? I, I've heard of them. No, oh, no. breaking film. No, breaking medium. What the? Well, why couldn't you let me it? read it before you debunked it? Then I could get a good clip out. Well, this is wrong. Probably debunked it. So Corey debunked Hawkins it. is rumored to have joined the cast. Why would you DC's make a Waller clip out series? if it's wrong, dude? Come on, dude. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, then you get the correction in the clip well, out. Well, well, it's like that rumor that oh was God. it 
uh, that they're saying that I actually think uh, that's a good fit. Oh, no, 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 no. Actor... I got the title right there. I got the, I got the title right here. Wait, okay, wait, guys, wait, wait. Movie Madman gets it wrong. Oh my <laughs> God, God. I said it. rumored. Why does it again? Well, okay, wait, wait. Why do you people it, don't it, understand this? Did I, I see you, rumored? Wait, rumored's in the you, quote you there. want rumors? It's not official. You, you want rumors? Oh let, let me bring oh. this rumor up. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told I you. I told think you. James Gunn should check him out. You know, DCU's Waller series. What? What, what, is, what is this? Wait. I'm trying to get through there my Twitter go. feed, and you're bringing up all Bro, this. Bro, I don't care, please. I'm not. I just want everybody to remember. We, we want rumors. In paradise. I've read this. Yeah, this was this was dumb. I didn't even. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Okay. He literally got commuted. Uh, okay, trouble. A, a very reliable source. When they when you say that the first sentence, that's instant alarm bells. There. What was I saying at the beginning of the show? Whatever, whatever. When they first say a very reliable source is the the lead in the in the article. WBD okay. told me David Quartz and James Gunn had a very big fight. But somehow week. James Gunn returns. <laughs> yeah, I that's what you're saying, Brian. Gunn. James Gunn is going to return to the conversation. A recast is coming in the middle of filming. And the cancellation of the film is an option. It is believed millionaire millionaire losses were made. What? It says millionaire what does that even mean? <laughs> that doesn't even mean. That sentence is meaningless. AI could come up with a better fake rumor than this. Okay, dude, you guys want me to slap something together? And we can we can talk about that? I'll just make yes. something. Do it. Do it. Do it. Error lost was made. The most random rumor ever. Uh, I actually like this. I thought this was a good one. Uh, I'm I mean, sad. That, yeah, that, would have, I mean, he's a good he's actor, a good actor, but he's yeah. like, no. Yeah. Oh, this is people that like Dragon <laughs> Rider and the. That this is amazing. The GT theme dude. Yes. Did you see this? That's dope. Yes. This That's is insane. Dope. Wow. This is somebody nice. showing off. Are you guys ever nice. yeah, well, if you could show off like this, would you? This is deserves showing off. Too much that. time on my hands. Oh. Look at that. T -t 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 Dragon Ball Crater, right? How do you yeah. plan yeah. something like that? How do you plan oh, something don't. like that? Oh. Boom, boom, bam, boom, That's bam, awesome. Bam, 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 bam. I'm putting sticks. I'm putting this to sticks. Too much time on my hands. Uh, I've never understood how that is people plan the, those things. If mine. I could do that, I would do it too. He deserves to be. Give, that was amazing. Yeah, the, you. If you Steve if you got this type, of, if you do if you do this, you have a great talent. Yeah, I've been to the Jelly, Mac, 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 you you Jelly Belly Factory. They did this with Jelly Beans. Max, say hit me, hit me, ha! You gotta say hit me, hit me, ha! I prefer with Jelly Beans too. Terrible. Uh, I, I've been to the Jelly Belly factory, dude. It's more impressive with Jelly Is beans. this a real you need a Jelly Belly right off the line? Is this a real picture with No, but you, you can get like, oh, dude, they sell belly flops for like really cheap. And they're like the, the mixed max jelly beans. I have no jelly clue. Belly jelly beans are the best. Yeah. Um, they yes, get the really fresh the crowds of uh, people well, cheering for him. Really Some fresh. Uh, if this is true, I'm impressed. No, it well, Nimoy? It, yeah, it's it's legendary, legendary, legendary Leonard, Leonard Nimoy, born today in 1931. Oh my, my gosh, they can never recast him. He was so awesome. Oh. People oh, wait, did, did say that before him. J.J. Abrams' reboot came out. Yeah, he yeah. wasn't the best. And now he's been recast he, like three yeah. times. Uh, remembering legend, legendary Leonard Nimoy... My folks came to the U.S. as immigrants, aliens, and became citizens. I was born in Boston, a citizen, went to Hollywood, and became an alien. Live long and prosper. An alien. Spock was great. Leonard Nimoy was great. What was that show he had where he did, like, weird uh, stories? Of... Search... I love the intro to that. Hmm. Can... Kids today want an iPhone. I wonder, what... did you want one of these? Did you want to buy it? It would be MX. BMX bucks were the ninety stuff. I remember that. Yeah, I mean people will get it still. No, screw BMXs, dude. It was all about the GT bikes. GT the bikes. Mongo mongoose. Uh, yeah, they have a mongoose, dude. Like if you didn't have a mongoose, you went cool. Okay. Remembering rem William Shatter says remembering Leonard today. Hey, rest, rest in peace. One of his um, last roles was on Fringe, right? Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, dude! What? Were their beds made out of gold or something? 
Jesus. What? That's a letter. Told you I'm looking for hotels. Oh. Jesus, it's expensive to stay up there. Look at this. These spotters are insane. South Look Lake at, Tahoe. Ow. Jesus Christ. It costs more to stay. It costs less to stay in San Francisco. And this is are good news on Twitter because they these these people got these these Dude, gymnasts got saved. Man, get, That's why people, I would never be a gymnast. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Oh, that hurts. But man, whoever does this, that last neck, one, dude. I think he saved her from being having spinal That's a par- paralysis, bro. Yeah. Like, look at that. Ooh. She'd land right on her headpiece, bro. Yeah, man. But whoever does this, good luck to you, man. That's 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 impressive. Wow. Uh, it was a stick. It was a stick song, Cal. Um, Sils is live footage. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's done. He's leaving. He's getting on a plane. Oh boy. Yeah, he's. Done. I'm leaving on a Innocent jet plane. proven guilty, though, right, Voltaire? <laughs> I mean, we can't he's presume done. anything, anybody. Uh, listen, listen, I know it's rated. Is everything, but what do you, you think? Know, this live footage. If if, if the homeland like, oh, security, if the homeland security go to sometimes your house, it makes FBI, me wonder how I keep yeah. from going under. Right, um, and I got to tell you that Ciroc vodka is the best vodka on the market. Is that his vodka? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait. Do, do, I want to hear... Do, do, do. Wait, I, wait, I'm sorry. I, I had the volume down. That music's on. I forgot what music is. Let's get up on, Let's get up on out of here. <laughs> I mean, they did. I ain't gonna lie. That was very... I don't think they're coming after a Mercedes, though, but you know. They're coming in the Merc. The Merc. Wait, you went down a plane there? Those jerks. Yeah. Metro, I, I retweet a lot of indie games now. There's indie Metroidvania. looks pretty cool. Oh, no one cares. Sir. What do you got to say about this, CGH? Wait, now, I doing? saw this, and I did not think this was actually about a chicken nugget. So there's a show. Did anyone see this on Netflix? No, 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 no. no. Chicken I, I, Nugget I is now streaming on Netflix. The series follows a man whose daughter is turned into a chicken nugget. What the? It's not a chicken oh. nugget. And he eat it? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He ate his dog. Uh, yeah. Wait, where's yeah, perp, like perp when you need them? Um, what the? Perp when you need them? He's saucing her up in this what? picture here. This is weird. This is like potato chip, man. Like, this is weird for YouTube. What's this uh, doing on Netflix? A man, so, a, so, so, a man so, whose daughter's turned into a chicken nugget. This will make Pep's dreams come true. This is something a chicken nugget is like perfectly circular. He he probably he probably watched it already. Yeah, Pep. Yeah. (laughs) I don't I don't I don't know how this is good at all. Like if someone says, "Oh, that's really actually pretty good," I don't get it. (laughs) Yeah, that show looks super weird but hilarious. I don't I don't know. Uh, we didn't even see the, the trailer. Yeah, it's interesting. We, we're just seeing the pictures. Oh, official trailer for Acolyte. 521,000 <laughs> dislikes. Yeah, but the general audience can't see the dislikes anyway, unless they got the. You know what? I, I loved this trailer. I rewatched it when they had the Sith lightsaber and all the, 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 the Jedi are lighting up their lightsabers. There's some great action with Carrie. You know, and I Moss. find it very interesting that Star you know, Wars, the, the Star Wars fans, they didn't dil- dislike the Soka trailer, but you want to dislike this. You know, okay, here, don't like, I don't here's like here's that the, comment that that guy made. Star Wars Story actually kind of defended let Brian this. Finish. You're, you're talking over a little bit, CJ. Go ahead, Brian. Sorry. Um, okay, here's the deal with uh, Star Wars, guys. We are well past the point of already knowing what the people who don't like Star Wars are going to say about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, know. um, you have to understand that, like, this isn't their Star Wars anymore. Okay. I, I don't want to be that guy. Um, and I don't see a problem with that. They won't leave. <laughs> well, who cares? Mm. No, I know. They're, they're, they're like they're zombies. Gonna watch it anyway, that... they're going to help. Look, they're helping the views. But but the, the other thing, Brian, you know, is there's that a they, reason that what, you what, did not actually remove the dislike just so you can't see it. You probably get more engagement when you do you hide it where people have to go 
you know, like, oh, I want to go back and see through my extension. They're going to go out of their way. Like, yeah. No, it's just they like watch Rotten it Tomatoes, dude. It's just like Rotten Tomatoes. It's engagement. Mm. You know, it's like. What if you're looking for a video like how to, you know, fix your garbage disposal? You want to see the dislikes so you know if it's a good video or not. But the, but yeah, the thing kind of like is, a Yelp review. Like, mm -hmm. like the, the fans now, they like, if you say you liked a show or whatever. They'll complain about what if YouTube your opinion. is playing 4D chess and says, you know, let's do this to make it more of a game for them. They'll watch, they'll do it even more. They'll engage it with the video even more. YouTube is, don't know. YouTube is whatever. If you think about it, what's the best watchers on YouTube? Hate watchers. Yes. So I actually think YouTube knows exactly what they're doing by hiding it. Where the, you know the trolls and the people that really care are gonna go see it, but then they're at, it's not visibly. Mm, you could hey, mm, you could hey, or watch or to that max because they would have completely killed it if they really wanted yeah. to. Right. I mean, you could hate hey, watch game. something and get a, and they will get a second or third season. But who cares? And then you know what else it probably does, Voltaire? Mm. People that don't do that, they're gonna comment. Well, they won't yeah. show my dislike, so I'm gonna comment. So that gets increased no, engagement. Mm -hmm. YouTube is playing 4D chess on all you haters, and you hate watchers are the best kind of viewers ever. That's and a lot you of watch thumbs down. everything. The hate mm -hmm. watchers talk. I mean, and Star watch. Wars. Well, I mean, Star Wars. What you expect? No matter what the what they put out, it is gonna go. Channel. They watch everything. They talk about it all the time. They talk about it more than we do, and I like the shows. So, there's it was a good time to collect some views and so. Yeah. Uh, but what? Anyone else thoughts on the acolyte trailer dislikes? Do you think it deserves this? Any any criticisms? You know, not that your haters have any constructive criticism, Voltaire, about this trailer. I mean, there's a lot of girl fighting, but the trailer is yeah. okay to me. I mean, it's not, your mind, though. not enough for me not to give it a chance. I'll always give it a chance with the lightsabers, you know. Mm -hmm. Brian, you, you give me oh, constructive criticism God, dude, on it. This just is like man, lore. Uh -huh. No, dude, I was, dude, I was, first off, brother man, uh, when they announced brother this man. show, I was so excited. Um, yeah, dude, this is like this is this this is my show. This is the show I wanted to see. Uh, it said dark side and it said lore. I'm like, what? Two of Thank my favorite you know. things about Star Wars. Yeah, I'm I'm watching it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Trailer was poorly edited, though. In your yeah, eyes, uh, so you think everything is edited yeah. poorly in your Anthony's eyes. Anthony's one of my hate yeah, watchers yeah. too. That's yeah. true, though. I love you, Anthony. I don't know about that. <laughs> I hate watching my come It's on, it's, it's the same. The YouTube dislike is the same thing as a bad Rotten Tomatoes score. It is. Yeah. It's really. It's really. Mm. Is, bro. It's like. Mm. Okay. There's something but to people, that. That's people definitely weaponize it. Tell you brand, that's a lot. You can't just ignore it and dismiss it. That's quite a few. Yeah, yeah but, you know, but a lot of it, a lot of it, a lot of it was either. weaponized by other channels that were. Yeah, they all they do is engage. Although I, I know this guy is saying that Star Wars three. No, Don't Star use Wars the word was actually the word monetized. No? Star Wars three was actually neutral about it. Yeah, I don't know why everybody hates him so much. That's because he probably he played both sides. That's why. Because he's a fence sitter. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, yeah. Next, yeah. Oh, he, he also he also actually defended George Lucas because of his. Well, he loves not anymore. No one's defending him anymore. Once he... no, no, I mean Star Wars there he is. Yeah, he did. Okay, yeah. Jason's right. He he loves George Lucas. So do I. I mean, and he George loves did, I mean, iron. He pumps did it, so, so much so that his audience are actually turning against him. Uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire director Gil Keaton hopes to release fantastic deleted scenes as supplemental material, but turns down extended cut. I mean, yeah, that's every movie they've released deleted scenes. Yeah. Cut. Can they release the extended cuts of the Amazing Spider-Man movies? That will never happen. No. No, please. Here is how to watch please. the Monsterverse films in chronological order. Release the order. web first. 
Skull Wind. Island, Godzilla, Cut. Godzilla King of Monsters, Godzilla vs. Kong. That's, it's, you know, whatever. King of Monsters is a good movie. Uh oh. You know what this means? Stone, what, Stone Cold, Cold said so. What do you think, Taladia? Does this mean Stone Cold? Did they be, did they frame this? This is what this is what John Roca, aka the Outlaw, says. This framing is not a mistake. People, Stone Cold and Cena will be involved in WrestleMania match. Oh yeah, to stop the Rock or to help the Rock hold off the Bloodline to help Cody. Roman, no, no, I think Cody I think I think Reigns. what's gonna happen is the, this freeze yeah. frame looks wrong. I, I think what's gonna happen is Steve Cold. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I think what's gonna happen is uh, Steve, um, Steve, oh my god, Stone Cold and um, the, um John Cena is gonna help oh, Cody. Can the, I tell uh, you guys? I the, hooked up my yeah. Xbox 360, and a couple months ago on Tape Hunters, I got SmackDown versus Raw 2010 for the 360. <laughs> oh my goodness, that game's good. Trying to get a key, a cheap copy of Hulk Ultimate Destruction. You will not I be disappointed. I saw one today for eight bucks. You will not be Xbox. disappointed. You should have gotten well, it. Well, I found stuff. I had to I had to put some stuff back. Yeah, yeah, it's a stop tape hunters. You should have never got those. Yeah, doodle Bradley. Uh, definitely me. Me, CGH want to play Fortnite too. I would love to get play Fortnite with you. You're gonna be so ass. Well, what do you think of you wrestling fans here? What do you think of this? Voltaire, do well, you like I, wrestling at all? Not since I was a child. I don't know. Does it have anything to do with Fallout? The show? Well, when's that dropping? Next well, month. Uh, well, uh, but Mac, you never got soon? to me. Mac, you never got to me. To Go ahead, Talani. What do you think? Does this mean Stone Cold? Him? him yes. Uh, I, this, yeah. this basically means that Stone Cold, they're hinting at Stone Cold and Cena to return. This also means that they're big because they brought blood back to the TV to the TV. So it's kind of like reliving the attitude era all over again. Mm-hmm. And d- WWE has become more popular than it ever has been in recent years <sighs> because yeah. of The Rock. Because yeah, The Rock came away. in and changed the history. Rock's gonna go away, like he always yeah, he's, does. He's, no, he's, he's not he's, because he's, he's got financial. Go right Dude, he's got you, no. he's got more financial reasons to stay now than I mean, he's I mean, like. Yeah, uh, I mean his next movie his his next movie doesn't start until five months from now, so he's good. Uh, Rock, he's, he's good. Now. Yeah, Black yeah. Adam yeah. too. He's gonna go film Black he's Adam. Like, he, he's good. Like he's literally it's the good. ruthless aggression era all over again. Jade says Stone Cold won't be at WrestleMania this year. I don't know, Jade. I don't know, but they they Stone Cold like busted, like he can barely walk. No, yeah, he can, dude, no, he can walk. Up. He could he walk. Still appear. He still could appear uh, and help no, out. No, dude. Well, first off, it's WrestleMania, dude. They always show up for WrestleMania. Yeah, they always show up here. Yeah. Like, you you ever see that video of that that kid uh, on the bus uh, saying "Stone Cold"? Uh, Steve Austin, mm. hey, like, yeah. <laughs> I I don't know what you're saying, CJH. All I can <laughs> say is is that The Rock is on the board of the TKO board, which is the Basically, overseas WWE and UFC. The Rock mm-hmm. is on that board. We're going to do a and watch party for that, right, Claudia? For WrestleMania? Hopefully, hopefully yeah. Hopefully, we yeah. Know, it's be between, you and, between you and me, we both announce watch parties that we never do. Yeah, but see, You're wait. James Gunn is announced, is going to announce Black Adam 2, and then The Rock is going to be gone from this. No, nah, that will never happen. But, nah. well, but he, he's not just a wrestler now. He, he got, he's, he's like, has invested. Of, yeah, he's invested. He's invested. Just like WWE. he's invested in that that other football league too. UFL, yeah. man. Yeah, I, I think it's like, Everybody could take a lesson from the Rock. I love how he's sort of sold himself into this and just is really all out into it. Like he's a hard working yeah. man. Yeah, it's for money, because, I get it, but I still respect it nonetheless. It's because Black Adam didn't work, so he's got to go back to wrestling. Why do you have no, to be negative, bro? Like, like, you know, why are you going to be negative? Yeah, why are you going to be negative, negative man? CJ, you've been negative all night tonight. I man. just don't understand why it costs more to stay in Lake Tahoe than San Francisco. Is that money? Uh, it, it, it's expensive. Well, I think you lived in Tahoe. Why are you looking for rooms? I live in Reno, dude. He's Reno. Oh, Tom was like three uh, hours away. According right. to Deadline, Timothy no, Chalamet signed an agreement with with uh, Warner Brothers, where he's also 
you know, he's per, he's getting producing credits on these projects now. No, this is not a Warner Brothers project. Let's Shalomon and everything. Let's make not, him James Bond. Let's do everything with Shalomon. This, this is not is a, a Oh, well, that's a different story then. I mix the, I mix the two together. Yeah, this again. is not this is um well, this, this well, is um search like Well, he pictures, also yeah. did sign a an agreement with Warner Brothers to do more producing too. So it's not you're not just hiring him as an actor. That means more money for Timothy Chalamet. I think, I think Brian Gray is getting overexposed. What, what do you think you're, about him being as Bob Dylan? He, he was from he director was good James Mangle. Uh, Hello, no, I'm Bob Dylan. I am. Pass. Oh wait, wait. Let me put his face. Okay, go ahead again, Voltaire. Hello, I'm Bob Dylan. I am. I'm the English Bob Dylan. You know. Would you like Bob some chocolate? Like that. Never do that, please. <laughs> Can I have another, please? Did you? I'm strum a tune for you all. It's so cringy right now. You used oh, come that on, that sounds like that great for the clip out. Everybody, that was hanging out. Justin Lin is being eyed to direct Spider-Man Four. Justin, no, Lin. he ruined Star Trek. You don't want him to do that. What do you, uh, what do you I wouldn't say he's ruined. He ruin? I think JJ already ruined the franchise. Uh, no Star problem. Trek Beyond. People um, like that one. People like that one. Though. Some mm, crazy people. They said Some. it was a step up of, over uh, Into Darkness. The, yeah, yeah, I just think it. Is, they burned all my goodwill with Into Darkness, so I didn't watch it in the theaters. Um, uh -oh, it was Fast and yeah. Furious track. Dude. I mean, he's Spider one. Man. Like he's what, one what, of what the. Is, what are the rest do you think? Justin Lin being eyed to direct Spider-Man Four. I mean, he's Holland one of the. the I mean, he's one of the people that they are. I it's will spoil the ending of that movie. The Beastie Boys <laughs> song. Is it is, is the stupidest ending I've ever seen to a Star Trek movie ever? Uh, Actually, ever. no, no, well, they, that is the best is, ending. That is guys, the best ending. This is a uh, it's being whoa, whoa, backed up by two, two scoopers the insider Jeff Snyder and My Time to Shine Hello also said it's very so, likely. Uh, I haven't heard these names. In a while. I mean, his next project is with Sony, and um, he's doing uh, one with Daniel Craig and, and Charlie Theron, so. I think it's possible. Yeah, I, I, I like him. I think he would do good with action scenes. Never well, forget, that... canonically, tried to do a barrel roll, got Kong to get Godzilla and misses oh, entirely, is, slamming is, his face yeah, this is first to, yeah. into the rock. That's terrific. Into the rock. Well, that's, that's because funny. Toho did it. They were that was you know they wanted Godzilla to be king. You know, there's one way to bring me back to the Godzilla monster verse is to bring in the '90s Godzilla. That's <laughs> never happening. I want to see Knuckles. You know, Toho accepted him. I don't know why everyone else do, don't. Knuckles looks him. fun. I can't wait. Um... Sega Atlas leaker says Sonic Heroes remake is being considered as not a given. Kind of cool All about that. Sonic Mania. There is no. This is very game. impressive, everybody. Respect. <laughs> Seventy effing eight. Damn. This is amazing. He's what's a this, tremendous. What's this player. actor's name again? Ernie Hudson. Ernie Ernie Hudson. 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 Look at that. <laughs> Respect. He, he's looking a lot better than the other Ghostbuster. Yeah, hey, he looks like he's—he looks like he's—he looks like he's, he, he, he look like he's, he look like he's fifty years old. Uh, yeah. Look at the guns on. No, no. That's look at the guns on him. That's not even like. Jeez, Winston. Good Brad, God. Bradley, give me freaking Matthew Broderick. I, I love that damn movie. I, I most respect. I gotta get like this. Do you know there's a lot of Simpsons actors in that movie? Like voice actors. Yeah, Hank is there. Is it is. Movie. Yeah. Yeah. Gene Shallot turns 98 today. How many of your viewers know who Gene Shallot is? Uh, I do. No, I'm right. I know you do. <laughs> Talon, do you know who Gene Shallot is? Probably not. He's an actual He's movie not. critic, guys. <laughs> no, no, what? Not oh, an actual one. An actual movie critic? A real one. Look at that mustache. He was fun. Well, 98. Dude, the, the People are like, I didn't know he was still around. Do you, do you think he would have a YouTube channel if he was still Everyone around? says he's still alive? Is that no Tony way. Clifton? <laughs> <laughs> no, Tony Clifton. There's no way he's alive. What? Him. Gene Shallot? Yeah. Yeah, it says he's Looks 98. Real happy. He just is retired from that bow tie. movie reviews. Hey, he's on I TV. Guess. He's seeing women. Look at look at Clint Eastwood still direct at ninety three. Hey, he's he's Christ. doing a lot of uh, uh, yeah. He's doing a lot. Yeah. Uh -oh. He doesn't look as good as Gene Shalit. No, 
Well, that was not a current Gene Shalit. Oh, it wasn't? Okay. No. <laughs> that was not current Gene Shalit. That was like when he was still doing reviews. Oh, I'm, I'm Clarice, where, where's the empty chair I'm going to talk to? David Bowie, Bowie, New Mexico, yeah. on the set of The Man Who Fell to Earth. I've never seen that movie. I heard good things about that movie. I never saw it. He should stop directing it. I mean, when you're a certain age, I guess they love it. Hey, I got one of those. Chiefs, Phil, Xbox Chief Phil Spencer has hinted that PC game stores, like this is what Thaladi was talking about earlier, like Epic Games hey, may be on Xbox. Oh, are they are they hinting about Hell Divers too? I don't know about that. I don't I don't know about about that. Oh, is that that crappy game everybody's playing now? Uh, yeah, yeah, that everybody yeah. loves playing that. Yeah. Twenty that years ago, Scooby Doo Two released in theaters. That's 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 it's, 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 it's a, a good to play, Drew. That's not bad. Man, look at all those people. And that, that was came the back best part about James it, right Gunn there. Movies. Yeah, she's in James Gunn movies. Max, are you gonna cry? Cry foul? No. I mean, he's 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 you James. know they, you know all these uh, actors uh, returned for a robot chicken skit. Yeah, that was funny. Um, yeah, the cameo, the cameo that Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince Jr. did in Clerks Three, mm -hmm. hilarious. Um, just funny, especially since oh, I love that game. You know what's great like, about Xbox? That's the greatest game ever. You know what's great about Xbox? You don't have what? to buy this. You can have your original Xbox version and stick it right in your ass. Series. I had a game. I had a game. Oh! I had a GameCube. And I still have my series. I have my original. Stick it in my X. Is that what you Not said? Not like classic yeah. Battlefront. Oh, you have to pay stick it in your X. That's what's great about Xbox. Xbox is. But if you got an S, stick it in your S. No, you can't stick it in your ass. There's oh, no slot. Right. Oh, there's no well. slot in the ass. <laughs> no. There's uh, nowhere to stick it in the ass. No, no. This That's game, why you got to buy the X. Oh, my God. Guys, That's why we X. got you an X, Brian. MME got you an X. I did that to make the end. Thank you. No, I, I, yeah, yeah, you, the, 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 I don't the, have this for Xbox. That um, that the, the makes the, a tweet <laughs> that's <laughs> underneath uh, in my backlog uh, make a whole different context. Anyway, right. one of the best Star Wars though. games ever, just saying. Yeah, that Hands person. Down. Hands down. Kyle Katarn. Oh, no, 50 Cent. Post the that's not 50 Cent, cent. that's Jay-Z. No, that's I Jay -Z. know. 50 Cent was throwing shade on Jay-Z. Oh, my Jay -Z. goodness. After Why an incarnation? After they're the saying, P. Diddy the stuff. Oh, it's because he, he's friends he's, with Diddy. He's connected to the same yeah. people. Um, yeah, he's connected to the same. Yeah, he's connected hey, to Diddy. what were these guys up to with all their money? I don't. I hope Jay Z was hey, involved. I, I don't know. I, I hope not. Yeah. Hell no. That would be crazy if he is. That's coming up to well, Terminator but, Survivors. I've never heard. But of this why movie. is it that the video games can get Terminator right, but the movies can't? That's a lie. Video games mm -hmm. don't get. Terminator Have you seen right. a little movie called Genesis? I mean, they got that right. No, they didn't. Oh, this Winnie, awful Winnie one. Two Blood and Honey Two. Hold on a second. Oh, what was that other banger movie they did? Salvation. Oh my gosh, dude, that movie was the best. With um, with um, Chris, um, Christian Bell. No, I rewatched oh, that, Ryan. and the concept, like all the action scenes, are cool. The story itself is like clearly it needs more movies. Well, like, that's clearly the story it's that part of a trilogy. Told, okay? I'm yeah. tired of going back to Sarah Connor and blah, 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 John Connor, yeah. blah. I want to see John Connor in the war, dude. I don't care about that. Yeah. Well, they okay. should do but it's do, very do. clear from that movie that they planned a trilogy. But because there's no trilogy, it just feels like, uh, what the hell's going on? Genesis is uh, one of the worst things ever what about, what about this? They kind of come out with this like a cash-in on the public domain, Winnie the Pooh. Oh. And yeah, now let's get a hundred percent. Six reviews. It's six reviews. That's so still one of those reviews. Four, got into an early screening of this film. Oh, he did. Do you like six it? Six reviews. Bragging about it on Twitter. He's what? Uh, he was bragging about it on Twitter. Did yeah, he like and it? And watch, there's six horror marks, dude. Trust me. Oh, you saw six Sting people. as well. You saw Sting. You it's see, six you little movie ton of That's awesome promo promotion. Oh, Bradley so Hello, well, that's London Bridge it is. That's Godzilla. where he lived, me. But there's no Godzilla there. <laughs> Bradley, was it, was it even good, Bradley? Yet, the I was movie? very mad at that. 
barely saw it. Like was it even just like his neighbors? Bro, look why are they wrecking the Canadian pyramids next. like that? Man, son of a bitch. No, oh, man, he just that body slammed his ass. That's look at terrible. The aliens, aren't gonna, the aliens are not going to be very happy when they come no, back. No, that's refuel. awful. I can't. Uh, oh one of the greatest God, movies of Just like the time. Terminators. Oh, why the best best I'm in Transformers. Dude, this is the um, best. This is the the pinnacle of the Mighty Ducks franchise here. It's a terrific movie. It's hard to Keenan Keenan Thompson before Nickelodeon. I'm um, gonna do a a, a stack, a, a, a best of Emilio Estevez on VHS. I'm telling you, D2 no is one of the, is the best Mighty Ducks movie. Uh, hands I down. would say it probably is the international flair to it. All that stuff. The junior good. I mean, he, he's the but... reason. He's the reason why the TV show got canceled. What? It's his, not yeah, his fault that they didn't, couldn't hockey, do dude. good after he left. It's his no, decision that he did. No, it's because, it's because he didn't want to take a vaccine. So that's his choice. I'm, do, I'm done telling what people what to do. Yeah, it had hockey like I used to play it when I was but, a kid. But I, I okay? understand him, though. I understand. I'm not saying that. Yeah. Saying in the middle of the road <clears throat> in California, yeah. a sunny day. Ah, uh, you Americans playing hockey. Roll, roll take a vacation and no you skates, will gain some okay? unexpected. Road hockey is superior to real hockey, truthfully. Damn right, dude. Have to get out of the way of the cars. I, will be <clears taking throat> a I don't even like hockey, and I. Uh, oh, Netflix has announced the cast defend. for their next installment of the Fear Street franchise prom queen. Not about that franchise. Red Rocket and the Idol star Susanna Sun, the summer I turned pretty actor David Lacano and more will headline the horror movie. I forgot about very that popular. I think I watched it with my Netflix. wife. Yeah, it's very popular. Yeah. Red Rocket. <laughs> oh, Batgirl's trending. That's oh, because of the new uh, Bad Boys trailer. Herb. No, can we just stop no, this, please? No, can we can we stop that, please? We don't want Pep to come in here and say we save the back. Perp's not even. I don't know where Perp's at. He's Herb not. Only Herb Herb the screening of uh, you know, the Winnie the Pooh. Well, look about. Look at this though. Hugh Jackman possibly teasing Channing Channing Tatum's. No, bring the other guy back. Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, well, no, why, why, why do we, every time I report the news, CGH, you say no, do this something different? Why can't we have it all? What was wrong with Ty uh, Taylor? He was ass. Nobody give a fuck about that guy. Oh, oh you fun. just ruined the clip yeah. out. Man, what, what, did, what, did, what did you Jackman tweet? What did he John tweet? Carter versus Mars, dude? What is your problem? I'm not disrespect to the guy that playing with Wolverine Origins. He's ass. He's a two pack of ass. He's a two pack. Yeah. Yo, Anthony, oh, you owe Max ten bucks. He's a good. I don't think he's, he's a good he's actor. Not he's a good oh, God, actor. He's, he's just that he wasn't good. And I'm gonna start saying that everywhere I go. Hey, when I'm at the convenience it, store. Bitch. Hey, man, what are you trying to pass on me? This is a two pack of ass. Yeah, I'm calling you a two pack of ass is a bit harsh. No, look, I don't have nothing against the actor. I think he's good. It's just that he was a two pack of ass in that movie. What if he watches this? How's he going to feel about hearing I don't care. I mean, I don't care. Wait, wait. Between these two. Between these two actors, who would you cry choose myself for Gambit? Bring this up. Bro, Chen and Tony have been wanting to play the character since 2015, bro. He deserves it. He deserves it, and he's friends with Ryan Reynolds. These two actors, who would you pick I would go Taylor Kitsch, but if you're doing more comedic, Tandy. Chanting Tatum. No, bro. I wonder if you're going to give a cameo again. Thank you. Bring them both back. No. Have them look at each other. I'm Gambit. I'm Gambit. You know. No, I'm good, bro. He's oh, a you know, Spider-Man thing. He does look good in this this uh mock I think he, I think Channing is fine as scam, but truth. Yeah. I mean, plus he made I uh -oh. mean he made, he made well, a cameo in his last movie, so it makes sense. But look, this is on the Hugh Jackman. I guess is is this uh Instagram or TikTok? He, I think it was when he was on what did he post? Out. Um that's just something. a great blank, blank screen. And then I, think, I, think the, I think he was working. The, he was under working the arrow. Out. Um, someone except still comes off. I think he was working now. Yeah, it was like it was like and two days Channing ago. And then Channing Tatum says, "Let's go, Daddy." I don't know. I'm missing. It was a, it was a, it was there. a video of him working now two days. Ago. It's a little bit weird him calling him Daddy. I will say. Yeah. Is it's, 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 it's a Hollywood thing. Is it really? Yeah. Have you seen this? Oh, Dark end? Omancer says Channing Tatum is like 50 now. Hard pass. Bro, it's literally his friend. Like, they make cameos in each other movie every time. Every time? Bro, his, yes. Every he time. was literally in Freak. Uh, he yeah, made a cameo. Yeah. Prince? 
I've never seen this photo before. I'm a Gambit movie. Uh, he looks like Gambit there. there. Ooh, okay. this is good. This is a great game. I already own it, though. Look, it comes so, with a VHS map. I know. I know, Volterra. I can't do it. You I should destroy it. it. I will destroy that game. No, anyway. but this game is awesome. It's like it's like a, a, all kinds of uh, action 80s Fun. movies. Uh, it's in... Is there a guitar playing? What the heck is going on? That would be not me. Okay. But it comes with a VHS and a cassette. Music cassette. Blood Dragon. Track this down, and you know what? You could stick it in your X if you have it. From the what's the cassette tape for it though, in your X? What's the I don't know. For? I don't even know if it works. My goodness, I don't know. Uh, Wait, I, I, I am not allowed to go to limited run games anymore, though. Well, how much Wait, would that cost? My own, I don't. This pro this set here would probably be like. At least sixty, maybe. No, it's, 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 it's pretty wait, wait, wait. Max, I gotta ask you this question: Why is it coming on PS4, and not PS5? Um, so you can play on PS5 too. So you have the option. No. If because no, it's, it's a last not... gen game, you you could play it on PS5. No, no, no. What I mean is that PS5 is the version of the game. Well, there, look, there's Xbox One, too. It doesn't say Series X, and you can play Xbox One games on Series X. So I think they're I'm going just going to I don't know why. Did I think know. there's an expectation if you do PS5 you and Series Series X that you have to do, like, a, a remaster. In like is that you tuning thing. your guitar, CJH? I think that's... Yeah, it is. It is. That, is. I thought it was Brian. No, it's, it's CJH. <laughs> CJH. I know CJH has. A, I mean, I know Brian has a guitar too. What do you do with CJ? Guitar. He's bored. Oh, but anyways, this looks legit. Definitely play that game. I already own it. Three hundred and sixty. Oh, I didn't see the Bad Boys trailer. Oh, I did. Oh, what a trailer! That was an what amazing trailer. Amazing. Yeah, that was a great trailer. I'm like alternative. Nah, I'm good. It was so so good. Bad boys. Rise, I, rise. I didn't see the last bad boys. And I got to watch it. I don't know if it's on. I don't know if it's on Netflix. I gotta check that out if it's not. But, but if it's not, it's probably somewhere else. Memories. Batman v Memor Superman. Memories. Chinese theaters. Memories. Eight years ago today. Oh yeah, that's the big for me in theaters. Yeah. Yeah, it was big for me too. Is this true? Yes, it's true. It's Nelson true. Peltz, the activist investor who's trying to take over Disney. Yo, oh, yeah. That is the most. When All I read right, that, me, when me, I read, let me read when, this. When I read that, I was like, "That is the most racist well, shit ever." Well, uh, Nelson Peltz, the activist investor trying to win two Disney board seats, questioned Kevin Feige's <laughs> track record and says Disney's current strategy is woke. And Yo. then I don't is you're saying this is confirmed though, Anthony? Please don't yes, try to. It's, it's, it's true. It's, it's, that's his daughter. That's his daughter. But he he enforced this onto the production of Avatar: mm -hmm. Last Emperor Ender with M Night Shyamalan. Mm -hmm. This is Nelson Nelson Peltz's daughter. Mm -hmm. Although yep. she was the least of those problems, she was fine. I mean, I yeah, that was his daughter. <laughs> okay, he's the one who did he did production on it. But that comment that he said, that was crazy. Right? Here we go. Timothy Chalamet signs Warner Brothers deal to star and produce new movies after Wonka and Dune's success. He's pretty much um, WB Gordon Boy. Hello, Warner Brothers. Bring me the Brinks truck, please. Uh, he's not even British. Well, no, but will. Sure. Claudia, you love it. Oh, you look, know you... Look, look someone in the comment section. But Zack Snyder fans on X said no one wants to work with WB and that the studio is oh bankrupt. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Uh, How are they signing uh, deals with, with uh, uh, deals? Uh, uh, you know. Damn, yeah. must, damn, there are people who really, they really must live rent free. Yeah. Uh, when, whenever Volta um, does the British accent, it kind of no, it's it's it's. It's, it's off putting a little bit. Funny, what a thing to say! One of the last performances, Johnny Cash, just four months after June Carter passed. It was a great, this a great. If you get a chance to check that, we know, we know, we know, we know. Um, Max was there. This is horrible. Oh, right out of 
I got that right out of the box, dude. I got mine when they were doing the extended warranty. I sent it in for repair. And as soon as I got it back, I traded it in and got the newer models. I unplugged it and plugged it back. And I still have that model today. So I never had to buy a new 360. I have my. I wanted to take them to return it to you. It was really, they were really doing damage control in that time period. So they extended the warranty. Um, they sent it back right away. It, it worked. What's the backstory on I, this? I said, I'm not even going to use it again. I'm just going to sell it. So What's I sold it right away. On this? You don't know about the backstory of the 360 really? Red Ring of Death? I, oh my gosh. I've heard of it, but I never really just, understood. It meant like, I never work. went into it. They it, went Red ahead. Ring of Death means it didn't work. Like they did next that. gen and they got the console out before the PlayStation 3. So they got the jump and it was uh, easier uh, to develop for than the PlayStation 3. Xbox 360. It was in uh, high demand, mass manufactured, but with problems where they overheat and would mm. fail. And they'd get the red ring of death. And, and I heard like, horror stories about them. I heard horror stories about people sending it in and not getting anything back for three months. Uh it depends if they did that at the start. Maybe they did that like right when it's they started the program. Mine didn't fail until later on, like where they barely had the program left. Like mine was towards the end of that. They were doing that for a while. They were doing it for like they a year. They had it streamlined at that point by the yeah, time. So they it. so mine didn't fail until later on. They fixed it. I sold it. I got traded in for uh the new version that doesn't have this problem. So 360 is one of the best consoles ever to get. Because there's so many games out there, that means there's cheap. If there's a lot, it was if it was adopted by a lot of consumers, and you just don't go, just don't. Go, I don't know why people buy the first version of Xbox 360. I don't know why they even bother. What are you talking about? Everybody does it. You can't. They sell out. I mean, like, well, Xbox Three. I mean, Xbox 360 no, they, is they, okay. They had but two revisions of this. Max, console. Max, PlayStation Three is better. No. Oh, yeah. Listen, I love PlayStation, but the 360, uh, although I at the time I thought it was BS that they charged for Xbox Live and PlayStation 3 didn't charge for live service yet. Um, yeah, because they Xbox really gave a us greedy company. That's why. No, but mm. they gave, but what do you mean greedy? That Sony's doing it and Nintendo's doing it now, too. Ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. So, uh, back then, not now. So they. And they started the achievement system that it, you know Sony also copied with the trophies. No, Sony did not copy. What about and, those uh, Call of Duty lobbies that you used to be able to go to? I, I never, I still am not a huge on. I'm actually more of an online gamer now because I, I used to be in those Call of Duty YouTube. lobbies, bro. Though they were toxic as hell. These kids, bro. They used to. <laughs> oh my god, bro. They, they actually, Rhea, They toxic. are. There are rumors, consistent rumors coming out with from. From highly credible sources that I what follow, that says that Microsoft Anthony? is doing a handheld. You couldn't be in those lobbies for more than thirty seconds without being called the F word or or the N word. Doesn't matter. I I got, I I got the six hundred PS3. I still have it. You know, I've had very good success with my consoles. You know what I do. I don't do standby mode. I completely shut it off every Stand time. Stand by me. You know, people have their console like always on and like sleep mode. That's what I do. I haven't really had any issues. Even my PS5 and uh, Series X now, I shut them all the way down. <laughs> and I have I have a surge protector for my Series X, and oh, I turn that surge off. protector. Oh my god! Somebody's no, doing a, a, a surge no. protector. Well, huh? Listen, you Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know what the surge protector was when I was trying to tell me he's a surge protector for a Series X. I'm like, you don't have a surge protector for your Series X. I was like, but I, I, sh I shut it all the way down, and then I turn off the surge protector. There's no electricity going into that thing. <laughs> surge Fancy loud. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, get the 360. <laughs> Who here? Jacob, he did say that. 360? Uh, back when I was younger, yeah. Okay. I mean, I used to uh, have every console. You were a young of. Lad. I, I still have my three sixty. It's just, it's just in the basement sitting. That's what I, you know, on tape hunters, I, I actively collect three sixty games because you can still get a really good deal. 
Why did you have to end tape hunters? Oh, it's because I, I gotta stop spending money because I'm finding too much stuff. Oh, you're mm -hmm. like, oh, I, I, I had to put stuff back. I'm finding too much great things. This is a you're Joe Biden terrible. economy, okay? He can't afford to keep doing tape hunters. Yes. Not with, their, not with Bidenomics, no. You know how much a Big Mac is nowadays? Yeah. That's everywhere, though. $3. Like, how many times do I mention groceries up here? Mm -hmm. Canadian groceries are... Oh, man. Cinemark, see Godzilla, Kong, X-Kong, and 303D this Friday and receive a mini poster. Max, get your mini poster. I was what about gonna use a cool popcorn bucket for this. <clears throat> Maybe I just asked my wife <sighs> Friday I work overtime. Damn. Well, you don't get your free poster for your room. Maybe they'll have some left over on Saturday. Well, you get that poster Maybe, Max, right up next to that picture of Joe in his uh Chippendales outfit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Best Joker. Who's, who's pick fire? pick the three best. Uh, Why the hell is Titan uh, even there? Jack, I would actually say the Keith, those three oh. on the left. Why you I don't even know oh, those three. Damn Titans. three. Oh, is, God um, damn it. Would be um, Heath, Nicholson, and... Um, I actually can, I think... pick four? can I pick four? No, no, it has to be three. I, I think It'll be Heath, damn. Nicholson, and um, Todd Phillip Joker. So I was going to say uh, Jeremiah is... Pretty good, but he, he was good and got that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I don't know uh, that that may until cup, they put uh, this face on. Then yeah, it was uh, yeah, that makeup is. Yeah, yeah, that was the, that was terrible. That was terrible. Yeah. No, I all he need is hair. Is that's all. Batman Joker. That's the deleted scene. We didn't right? see yeah. it though. I know, but I didn't like. Everybody it. see that. I mean, yeah, and I didn't did see this tight. Titans. No, Titan. Yeah, they, they put the Suicide Squad in there. Well, the Titans like, one, he was, why it, he was why barely in it. Like, like he didn't even who's, speak. Who's the That's most underrated point. Joker? I actually think the one from the uh, this... the Adam West series was really uh, legit. The, no. The well, Snyder Cut no. Joker is the most underrated. Yes, the no. Snyder Cut one. Yeah. No, no, it's the worst it's one. The same as the one that's right. All right, everyone pick underrated and most overrated. Underrated is Jeremiah. Well, let this me go first. It was null and void. My, my, mine is the one from the Adam West series. I don't even know the actor's name. Um, She's a real Oh, how did Romero. I forget? Oh, okay, and then the most overrated, even though I love him, Jack Nicholson, I think. Mm. I agree with that. No, he was the most he was, comic actor. He had, no. he the Besides the means, obvious. But... Father, the alleyway. And I don't think Joe the Gotham Joel one thing. aged well either, on, honestly. Hey, Even though I like the actor. He's still hunting with you, Max, and he's buying. Uh, no, Jeremiah Joke, Joker will, but I don't know about the whole show. Wait, who was the other one? Uh, this one is Jeremiah. Who was the uh, other twin? Oh, yeah, his twin brother. Um, Tal Taladi, he was go better. Most he was better. Underrated, yeah. most yeah. overrated. Go ahead. Underrated is Jared Leto. Like, he doesn't get the credit he deserves. For no one for would the... imagine you would have said that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm a Snyder, bro. I know. So, I know. so no, I, I over... just think it's... oh gosh, man, go ahead. Over mm -hmm. overrated, I would have to say, or um, it's hard, it's hard. It's between Jack Nicholson and um, Joe. Jo... I can't pronounce his name. Phoenix, joke. Joaquin Phoenix. Phoenix. What the heck? We have 27 viewers on X and 17 on YouTube. Oh my God! Come over from the. Come you completely the ignored what Taladi was saying. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, Jack and Phoenix. He already said it though. <laughs> he said he was overrated. Between him and Jack Nicholson, for me. Okay, that's his opinion. Brian, go ahead. Oh, most underrated, most overrated Joker. You said they were overrated. No, I said, what is your most underrated Joker and which is your most overrated Joker? That, that but I'm just saying, Taladia said that Jack Nicholson was overrated as Joker. I did too. I oh thought he was God. great, good, he freaking but stands. people act like he's the best. I don't <laughs> think he's the best. I love the Bat. I love the first Batman movie. No, it, the, the Xbox is messing up my connection, dude. 
Okay, well, then you go ahead. Brian's busy. You go, Brian's busy. All right, so the most underrated is Jared Leto because of the Snyder Cut. If not for the Snyder Cut, he's not underrated. He's terrible. But his, you know, what we saw in the Snyder Cut was excellent. Um, most overrated, I, I, I got I, Look, he was right for the movie at the time, and I loved him in it, but it is Jack Nicholson. Okay. And obviously, Heath Ledger is number one. He's the best. Uh, I actually am kind of going with Joaquin Phoenix as the best. Uh, but CJH, go ahead. This is very difficult for me. But well, that's can I just I say that Jared Leto is uh, the overrated one? Overrated and by who? Yeah. By who? He by but who just left? He's Brian. Oh. Brian's got busy. And then, I mean, Max is over two hours. So. <laughs> you know what? As much as I like Joaquin Phoenix, part of me doesn't believe he's the actual Joker. Joker that goes up against Batman. He's not. It's all of his head. Like he's like, bro. He's the, well, that and I, I think he inspires the real Joker. People might oh, think so I'm that. I'm gonna go with Heath Ledger. I'm blown, CJH. That's amazing. I'm gonna go with Heath. Could very Ledger. well be that. It could all be delusion. Uh, Brian right? just rejoined. Oh, you could add him. I'm trying well, to bring considering up. how the ending of the Joker played out, right? Mm-hmm. You're yeah. absolutely right. I mean, I, th- I mean, he's. I mean, in his mind, he's locked up in Arkham Asylum, like, like in his mind. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but I, yeah. I feel like he definitely inspired a movement. There'll probably be a crazy out there that. Yeah. Did he really? Batman. Did he really meet Bruce Wayne, CJH? Probably, but he, uh, uh, he, I, he didn't. He did. He did not, bro. Because all of the stuff that happened is all over on his mind. Like he's mentally ill. No, no, that that's what the movie wants you to think. No, there are moments the, in the movie uh, that are definitely in his mind, no, like that's the girlfriend. What the character thinks in his mind. He thinks oh, he's so wow. Cal, five dollars. Man, you're making me eat good with my tape hunting now. A whole five dollars. I could get like three tapes with that. Three whole tapes. Uh, you could buy at least three different VHS for this price. Unless if you're it was hungry Canadian enough, you hungry, $5. Max? Also, right. your dad is cool. The other place is less expensive. Yeah, he said that. He said that. <laughs> um. No, thanks, thanks a lot, Cal. I will use that to get some tapes from me and my dad. And okay. my dad's like, I don't have a VHS player anymore. I'm going to take care of that this weekend. I have one already that I'm going to bring over there. And I'm just going to put a, uh, <laughs> a AV to HDMI um, device on his TV so he can have his VHS just, player. Okay. Uh, yes, exactly. Okay, finally. Now that my what? connection's working... Mm-hmm. Okay, if my connection is working. Can you okay. hear me? Okay, yes. yeah. speak your mind, Brian. Okay, this this right here upsets me greatly. Oh God. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. I know, and, I know and exactly. I'm also, where I'm also going. gonna take I'm gonna take umbrage uh, with you you guys, Colin. Um, you know, uh, Jack Nicholson overrated. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse me. Okay. Everyone says he's the best. That's why I say he's, no, 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 he's no, good. No. But everyone says like, why, everybody yeah. says freaking what's his head's the best. Ledger. No, they Keith do. Ledger's the best. I knew that. I oh yeah, I Ledger. Knew that's yeah. Where I think Ledger's over. Going. Okay. Go ahead. But no, Go no, ahead. no. Here's the thing. I'm upset because one, Jared Leto technically wasn't in the Justice League. Okay, and two, that he, he should have been portrayed as the Suicide Squad version of him. Okay, that upsets oh, was me. damaged. Okay, oh, the, okay, yes, exactly, one hundred percent. I you should must show him Ugh. at his least favorite. Okay, why are you gonna show him when he was shining and good, and in, in a movie that you know <laughs> didn't really count? And, he wasn't okay, very good. And here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. Next time I hear a freaking Snyder, bro. <laughs> <laughs> say that Jack Nicholson's Batman was overrated dude you're gonna get this very same verbal beatdown ooh not. that's Chris what because, well, no, okay. no you guys stunk for the worst freaking Joker possible I don't understand it 
and and quite frankly, nobody else does uh, either. Not his laugh, no, no, his he's, laugh sounds like a dying cat. This is Dude, Brian. So yeah, this is Jared his Leto time. sucked so bad as Joker. They made Joaquin Phoenix's movie. Okay, was he even even the Snyder cut, Brian? He was bad. Those scenes of the Snyder cut. Yeah, we're gonna like, give me a reach. Yeah. I mean, because, really uh, like, I, th I think that I know why the reason why Brian is, you know, bashing on. No, I don't know the reason why. Honestly, I think it's because of the two years. I've, I've, listened, to, I've listened to it for three freaking years, dude, about how Jerry Lowe is the best Joker ever, and you just don't understand. I oh, never get said out that. Of here, I never say he was the best Joker. Uh, I didn't say it. you did. Yeah. I've been Snyder on streams bro. where people have said that. Snyder Bros. I don't remember. He, Even he Snyder has, Bros. I don't remember saying Jared Lowe's the best. I didn't remember anyone hearing. He has oh my the God, worst laugh. Jared Leto so hard. Like somebody that went to his little island for, for, for a weekend. <laughs> Jared Leto Island. <laughs> where that he says from. he leans into the people they think that he's You didn't know cult. about that? You didn't no, I've never heard of Jared Leto Island. <laughs> No, I'm just. Yes. I'm. Thank you, Rhea. Exactly. Thank you, Rhea. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking crazy. I'm. I. What I'm venting. Okay. Because mm. yes, I. I had to listen to it for the better part of two years. Um. You know, before and after the Snyder cut. Because, dude, seriously, I. Like, you guys just don't understand Suicide Squad. I'm like, how? What? Huh? It's terrible. What is terrible? Understand? It's a bad. Movie. And there's the director's cut that's way better. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Oh, no, Vince, I'm just, just making a joke. Remember. Thank you, Vince. Yeah, no, no, I appreciate it. Vince. My thing was Thank always you. polishing a turd. Yes, you can polish a turd, but it's still a turd. Well, um, hey, everyone, give applause to Vince. Thanks, Vince. We appreciate the support. But yes, now I feel so much better. Uh, and uh, yeah, Cal, member for, for 11 events. months. I mean, it's not nothing personal to the Snyder Bros, but seriously... What's what's the why do you hate Jack Nicholson so much? I don't hate him. Is it because I Michael said Keaton? No, 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 no. I did. I just why, why? Because because I you know what? He's do, do, you, do you think it's he's my Heath whole... Fletcher? You know how you people. Everyone says Jack Nicholson. I'm like, do you okay. think yeah. it's Jack a Joe Nicholson. Chill thing? Wait, do you think it's a Joe Chill thing? That he's supposedly I, Joe Chill. I, I thought for the longest hey. time that Joker <laughs> killed the Batman's wait, parents. Wait, okay? there's two Anthony's. Wait, there's two Anthony's in here. This is a glitch. Yeah, I, imagine, is a glitch. I imagine one of them is probably not working. That's the glitch in the matrix. Yeah, that's breaking the matrix. It's probably this one right here. Damn. There. Talk, Anthony. It's like how I kept seeing this six 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 everywhere. Hello, 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 okay, cool. Hello. See, that's that's the right one. Okay. <laughs> I, I know. I do how do you know that he's not AI? Jacob, I'm going to do at least a couple mailbag questions for you because I know you wait. It is 2 a.m. for effort. you, man. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't getting uh, any nap. Oof. It's quarter past six in the morning. You need a quarter past six in the morning for me. Good morning. It is 11.03 p.m. Ray agrees it's with Nicholson as my top pick, and it ain't even close. Ne no, Nicholson it's not even my, close. Nicholson for Dude, me Nicholson is, is, top is the three. best, bro. Stop it. He's going Ledger to do was two, amazing. Stop two it. questions, Jacob. He's Ledger? No. Come on. No, no. He's as great. much as I like Heath Ledger, he, those <laughs> movies aren't the comic book Batman. We talked they're about like this the movies, other night, dude. They're movies that are based off of the Batman mythos, but are not comic accurate whatsoever. Okay, The mm. Dark Knight, and they're phenomenal movies. I I love them as movies. They're not good Batman. I disagree movies. with everything you say. Okay, here's my issue with Heath Ledger. Okay, it has nothing to do with Batman. Nothing to do with uh, it has a, it has to do with other movies he's been in and the kind of characters he used to portray. Who Leto or sorry? No, uh, he's he's Ledger, dude. He's wait, Leto. are you? Are you dude, is it because of the always, Cowboys? Okay, no. It's because of Night's Tale. That has nothing to do with it. It was the fact that he'd always play that good-looking, you know, social like like almost quasi skater dude. Like no, dude, he was like the. The, the, Do you know the he early, was skating the early, behind the older the millennials version of like that one dude that like always got the chicks, and that's why I never liked him. Okay, <laughs> so like it's like watching Varsity Blues, any movie He's with James, damn Kennedy. handsome. You know what I mean? Like, dude, he was too good looking for his own good. All right, uh, no, it, 
he did great as Joker. I liked the movie quite well. Um, I, I thought Two Face was a little bit better personally. Um, I, I I like what they did with that. I thought that was pretty cool. Most people disagree with me, um, and then I don't care. Uh, there are very there are multiple aspects of the Nolan films that I thoroughly enjoy. Uh, Batman Begins is actually my favorite Batman movie overall. Like straight up, See, it, I I love movie. them as movies. I just as Batman, accurate as an accurate Batman. You know why I really not... didn't like it? Uh, the recast of uh, Rachel. Um, that was inevitable, though, wasn't it? Well, it had a lot to do with Cruise, I think, right? Yeah. Another reason why I don't like Tom Cruise, bastard. Took <laughs> Katie Holmes away from a role she was born to play. Um, I just thought she was better as Rachel Dawes than, yeah. And then, dude, Liam Neeson training Batman. Come on, come, on, come on. Yeah, come on. But dude. he's not then, supposed then, to be. And then everybody Liam shits Neeson on the Dark Knight Rises. Magic. It was still a good movie. I dug it a lot. You know, it make everybody. Wait, the Dark Bane. Wait, the Dark Knight Rises is a movie. Every everybody everybody likes mm. Bane. Everybody shits on Bane. You know, never gets his due. I was born in yeah. the darkness. Oh, you yeah, you know what it is? It's, where's, where's well, it's the, the same Romero thing. Of, you know? So the comic book fans don't, they view it as, they assume that it's straight up based off the comics and then they get mad because it's not. It Nolan did it his own thing. Nolan did his own thing and his own take on Batman. And that's the way that's I view now. it. Cal, Cal likes her. I'm I'm sorry, dude, Cal. My favorite part I have, is when they started walking. I out, have a hard dude. time watching that movie. Is it because they filmed I, it in your you city? Like... Is that is that why? Wait, what? Didn't they film it in? Uh, Pittsburgh? No, I just I don't like Bane. Like that version of Bane. Like it's like the audio design. But, but that that Bane really works in me. Nolan's verse. The if it was, was comic perfect. book oh. Bane, it was different. Dude, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't goofy. Like, like the, the one thing I did not like about. Okay, my, you know how I love uh, Batman and Robin. It has a very, very soft spot in my heart. Okay, um, dude, the worst part of that movie was Bane. I, I just. They still haven't dude, got Bane correctly. I don't get why people go crazy for Tom Hardy. But, He's uh, one of the ones that I think is un- overrated. I, d- I don't hate him. I just like people go crazy for Tom Hardy. I'm like, I don't get it. Uh, hopefully, well, I mean, hopefully, hopefully, in. hopefully, Mad Max, too. I love that movie. I will say this. Hopefully, we get a comic accurate. Um, oh, speaking thing. of Mad Max, did you see the most recent uh, trailer for the. Uh, what's her name? Um, Euphoria. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Whatever, whatever the character name that's for God. Yeah. yeah. I that that most here. recent trailer looked awesome. Yeah, guys, map, it, map, I map, just map, realized map, it's right. two oh eight. Uh so I'm gonna Max cut that short. I'm gonna do two two questions from the mailbag and then we're gonna end. Okay. Um you have time to game? No. I, He's got I didn't I didn't get it. I, I took my dad to the doctors in the morning. I had to take him back to the hospital in the afternoon, no nap, doing stuff with my parents. Did Damn you know? And, I, and we have a company coming tomorrow, so I got to straighten up the living room a little bit because I was working. I was working on organizing my oh, yeah, games. So the games, Sorry. the games are all over the pool table in the living. Wait, room. no, is it Monday or Tuesday? I have Wednesday. a li- I have a pool table in it's my Tuesday. living room. Well, hurry up and answer no. your questions. Let's go. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thoughts, Jacob McKenzie. Thank you, Jacob. Great member. Thought you're all. All the members are great. Thoughts on the decision to put Alien Romulus to theaters was made just when filming began. The studio was like, F it. We're going to theaters with this. Absolutely. Can they re-release I mean, release I mean, Prey? Can they now Joker Prey? Watch Prey? If, if, now Prey, Prey, if Prey would have went to theaters back in 2021 or 22, whatever it was, it would have made Jacob, a ton of it's money. All, it's all right. We're, we've already gone to... We're like we're going through a couple questions. I'll finish the round. I was going to say, and then scroll down been... past the next one that's not Jacob for the next question. I mean, no, yeah, I don't it, 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 it is. That way you can uh, get Okay, of, uh, let me see about this, The Office. Thoughts on the new Office series moving forward with Greg Daniels. The to develop so the show with Michael Corman, Nathan for you. The series is likely to set in a new office with new characters, but in the same universe. I don't know. I don't know uh, if I it's the to... same universe, sure. Go ahead. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm not against it. I'm not for it. I have to see the context. 
You know, I, I, I'm not. Uh, that, that means it's not a remake. <laughs> Are they gonna say Parks and Rec is part of it too? <laughs> That'd be cool. Dude, dude. Like, what, if, what if they did something to combine all the universes? The Daniels verse. Yeah. All, the, all, the, all the stuff that Greg Daniels was a producer on. I mean, oh, I, God. I'm okay with it. I, all the people, most of the people from the office have all moved on to bigger. Yeah, they roles. all move on. That is true. So it's I not mean, like I, they could continue those characters. Well, I think, I think, it, and that videos. show had an ending. I don't know oh, if you watched of them it that from start to finish. But... Let's be fair. <laughs> oh, the, the Kimmy Schmidt thing on Netflix. She kind of yeah. She could yeah. But, but yeah, that that whole series ended I, I, with I a perfect think, ending. I never liked her character, anyways. I never did. I was like Pam more. Uh, but I think um she I think some cast members from the office could come back to make cameos in that All right, We'll do these two more. Uh Max thoughts on Michael Mann confirmed C two with his next film and he is deep in post in pre production. That's great. I wanna rewatch um the first one. I haven't watched I've only watched it once or twice. Get on VHS. I watch your recently. And then I also uh, I was I watching a, a rare Val Kilmer interview, in that Val documentary. I didn't watch that yet. I, where is that on? Is it Amazon or something? Amazon, I want to watch yeah. that documentary. I Amazon. About Val Kilmer as well. Yeah. That's one of his better roles, right? Mm-hmm. So I would love. I'm I'm happy they're making. I know this with Adam is the driver. Uh, yeah, Forget about room, it. There's rumors that Austin Butler is playing a um Val Kilmer character, so. Oh, and then the last one for tonight. Thank, uh, thank you, Jacob. It's a prequel, uh, Fox, buddy. It's a prequel. Thanks, Sydney that, that movie Sweeney with, uh, about Madam Web. To me, the film was a building block. Yeah, walk. that that movie. Yeah, it's what allowed me to build a relationship with Sony. Without doing yeah. Madam Web, I wouldn't have a relationship with the decision makers over there. That's great. That is smart. That is. Hey, she's a she's a true she's professional. Smart. She's a smart girl. I will tell you, you that. Know, that, that that movie does need a goddamn sequel. Let's get what? Redbox on it. Um, make what? it happen. What? Oh, the Heat. The Melissa Heat. Melissa McCarthy and <laughs> Sandra Bullock. Um, yeah. Oh, the Heat. That was a classic film, dude. Are you oh, being yeah, serious? Oh yeah, that movie came out. That movie came out in twenty twelve. Yes. Yeah. I am being very serious, Max. It's on HBO. HBO has a. I'm cut trying to remember. I think it. that was fun. That movie. No, it wasn't. Unless your boss being sarcastic. No, I actually I mean, thought that was one of the good ones. That she I'm did. being very sarcastic. And I think you no, know, dude, the one she did with, uh, no, no. I, I why really was it one of Melissa the better Ma Melissa Carthy movies, Voltaire? What? No, no. My favorite Melissa McCarthy movie is that one with Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. I don't remember what it was called, but that one was really oh. funny. Yeah, but Voltaire, you missed the layup because it has America's Sweetheart, Sandra Bullock in it. Uh, I don't know, Volt. Something happened, Voltaire. You fell asleep. I think he fell asleep, man. I'm playing again. Did fine. you fall asleep, Voltaire? A trailer. Yeah. I, think then... Damn, I think he did. I think he did. He's fast out. Is he, is he he's... snoring? Yeah. No, way. no, I don't think he's snoring. Just that he's yeah. Damn, he's damn. He's yeah. He's done. Okay. No, I he's... got one. I got one trailer, and then uh, another thing I want to show after the show. That's funny to me. After Whoa! The Are you kidding me? Well, I just got Paul Verhoeven official liked my photo on Instagram where I I put in tape hunters and getting Robocop. Oh, Is yeah, that the dude. real Paul Verhoeven? Who? What? It's probably the... somebody who runs his account. You gotta yeah, click it. Awesome. You gotta click this Instagram and yeah, see check, if he has check, a check mark. Is there a blue yeah. check mark? As a blue check mark, you know, you never know. If it is, I'll be shocked. Well, this okay, film director. If you have a, if, if, it, if it is, I mean, 1,689 followers. Mm, does Only he have a check mark? 35. I don't know. Go check out my Instagram. I don't have, like, okay. Awesome. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's damn. Yeah, I told you he was knocked out. That is hilarious, dude. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Voltaire. Thank you. I don't know whether to laugh at the three <laughs> clips this out, but he's. Oh scored. my god, no! He's this is oh, please this clip is this out. Oh, please clip no. this out, please. Voltaire, help 
I mean, Talatia, help Voltaire out. Good night. Good, good, we, bid you, we bid you farewell. Good night and peace. Farewell, farewell. I'll be there to say goodbye. <laughs> 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 He's <laughs> snoring. <laughs>